What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Let me get some tunes going here. Oh, please don't be loud. Please. Oh, thank God. Uh, cool. All right. So, as I was just saying, uh, I know there's only a couple in here for now. More will join, I'm sure. But um, three options, maybe. Um, we can either do the flight we were supposed to do the other night. So it would be Montepillar, France, the French Riviera, down to Barcelona, back up to Marseille. Um, we could do the flight that we were supposed to do tonight, which would be San Jose, no, Panama City, San Jose, ending in Guatemala City, so some high terrain action. Um, or we could try and replicate the flight, not the flight, but uh, we could fly in the conditions that actually canceled my flight. So um, looking on the chart here, or on the map, um, my flight got canceled due to some sigmets. Um, let's see. Oops. So, where is it? It actually does a really bad job. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Weather.gov. No, 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 no. We'll just use this one. Anyways, um, so right now in Myrtle, um, let me actually start with this, the METAR. Um, what? Oh. Um, where? That's Charleston, so we're up. Georgetown, Myrtle. So right now it is showing VFR, but I really want to see a TAF. Um, that's kind of really what I need to see. Um, and of course, they won't show it, so we'll go to airports, Myrtle. Uh, weather. Get rid of you. TAF. Um, so it's showing that there's a temporary of four miles visibility over cat or sorry, uh, winds gusting up to 18, uh, showers overcast at 6,000. And then there's a temporary one that's showing four miles rain showers broken at 2,500. Um, and the cool thing, I guess you could say, um, is this portion right here where there is icing in a couple convective sigmets. That's not the one I want. Uh, here. So icing is, well, it's IFR uh, from the surface to a thousand. There's icing at four. So the sucky part is Microsoft doesn't really do anything with icing. So I, you know, take it as you may. Um, but basically, if there's convective sigmets, uh, the weather could get really, really spicy and there's a chance of icing. That's the option. So whatever you guys want to see is what we'll do. Um, yeah, like actually, let me look at my iPad here. Um, ay, ay, ay. Charleston's getting pounded. Um, so yeah, it, it's completely up to you as to what we want to do. Wrong says South America, you want to see you land at uh, Guatemala? I'm down, look, I'm down for anything. Um, so yeah, it's showing that it will be four miles broken at 25 broken at five showers um, and then after that it's forecasting that it can get down to a mile um, and gust up to 21 with thunderstorms in the vicinity so completely up to you I am open to all three options but um, you guys tell me what you want to do um, if we do opt to go down south to South America it's it's 100 percent gonna be in this super cool uh, livery that I found on flightsim.to so it'll be this one the 75 year and I can't read it 75 on 75 year anniversary of that so that's our livery um, but yeah, that'll, that'll be what we do. So South America, I want to see land. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So we'll, uh, load up here. I gotta remember where we're going. Panama City. Yes, Panama City. Bad weather would be fun if the sim... Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking as I was, as I was, like, spewing out the options. Like, if the sim could actually replicate it, it would be cool. Um, but thinking of Microsoft, I don't know if it could, if it could properly do it. Um, and we're definitely going to fly at the day, in the daytime. Um, four o'clock, sure. 
if it gets to be sunset in Guatemala. Cool with that too. There, medium, it's at the gate, lovely. d -chant, what's up, man? But yeah, I was looking at it because we were supposed to go. Um, I had a double block uh, of, of a flight lesson today. We were supposed to go away. Kick rocks, go away. Uh, blast out of Myrtle and go up to Concord uh, in Charlotte. So my, we were going to go to Charlotte, basically land here at Concord, do the, the Skyline tour, lap around uptown, and then come home. But, meh. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god, the dedication is real. Oh lord have mercy. Don't drop that thing. Oh buddy. So that is what this is what we'll do. Is we'll do that. Um there's our bird. Uh fly. we gotta get some traffic in here for sure. And definitely hit up Simbrief to get our flight plan because we'll need that. Can't go far without it. Uh start, please. Um Time, what time is it? 2200. So we'll make it so our flight plan reflects it. Get rid of you. You can kick rocks. We need you. Uh, uh, where is it? Uh, new flight. Yeah, why not? New flight. Um, we'll be, what is it, CPA 7 Mike Alpha. I don't know why I always pick Mike Alpha. It just couldn't tell you. Uh, there, seven Mike Alpha. We're gonna depart out of where are we? Uh, MPTO, I believe. M yeah, MPTO to MROC in the 800, uh, like so. Copa, they probably got a first class config, right? One would think, one would hope. Um, and we'll take this one, sure. Good route. No need for extra gas, there ain't nobody here. Uh, any ATC? Probably not. Nope. There is that, there's that. And with that being said, we can start Jisix. <laughs> that was great, that was great. Oh man, uh, refueling please, did it work? There it goes. And boarding. Perfect. Cool. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get this puppy going. Uh, whoops. There we go. Get the keys on. Uh, and seatbelts can stay off because they need to fuel the aeroplane. We don't want people getting trapped in here if something goes boom. That'd be a, be a lawsuit. Uh, we'll go here, get those brewing up. Um, let me just jump down here, pull this up. Where'd you go? Uh, we're at 36,000 feet today for this one. Three, six, zero. Um, I'll check this in just one second and we'll switch that down to here. waiting um what's the runway it gave us it gave us two five and i know on one of these runways there's a kind of cool approach um let's see oh that might be one of them that's kind of cool that's kind of cool anything circling is pretty cool in my book oh boy what the heck um so we come in off the ils I think, yeah, I think this is what it is. Like, you kind of square up as if you're going to come in, break off, bam, back around. But that's almost essentially this. So if I was going to do that visual, I would kind of just, boop, break off of there, well, here and there. Um, anyways, we'll sort that out. Oh, dear. Uh, we'll just take this one. Um, category C, I don't need that. 
At the airport elevation, 3,050 feet, we'll put. Good lord. 3,000... 50 feet. Cool. Hey, Sam, what's up? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully all is well. Uh, where are we? M... P... T... O... Take that, drop it there. And then MPTO to uh, M rocket, M R O C. Take this cool information, add the payload, and add the route. GSX will do that. How you been, Captain Sam? Hopefully, all is well, good sir. Uh, while we wait, we can put in the dead frequency here. Uh, 2000 is good enough for me. We'll just put it to that. Jay, what's up? How are you, man? Welcome to it. Yo, EQ, my flight got canceled, bro. Uh, cruddy weather. And they tried to put us on for tomorrow, but uh, that one's cruddy. And actually, I got an email saying that my reservation was canceled. Oh, that was for tonight. Yeah, that was, that was tonight. Because um, I had a double block. But uh, was my weather better? I hope. I hope. Been good, haven't been on this account in a long time, but all is well. Good, glad to hear it, man. Got glad to hear it. All is, all is well on this side as, as well. Thanks for asking. Um, you know, I, somebody could always bitch and moan, but um, who'd want to listen, right? <laughs> who'd want to listen? But, nah, I can't complain. All has been well. Except for my flight got canceled tonight. Um, Pudos... Five off of zero three right, so we'll go here. Departure uh, zero three right. Huh? Oh, that's direct. So there is none. Okay. Route and then here, and this is where I think we'll just take this one. Seems kind of cool. R and P. Actually, I like this one. Yeah. Uh, this is the R and P whiskey, and we'll take it from Rydux. Riddick something. R&P Whiskey, R&P Whiskey, R&P Whiskey, 2-5, Riddix, and off of the, that one, Transition I, okay. Now working kids are watching you with me, well hi kids, how are you? Keep your dad in order, and uh, make sure you do your homework, yes, yes, school is important, they say. Um, cool. So we'll take a gander at this, because I have no idea where I am in these next of the woods. So if we look at flight plan, okay, get rid of you. Actually. Okay, I already did. I thought I had to activate it first, but I guess I did. Uh, so we take off 2-5, and we should be heading west, right? No, east. East and then north, I think. Oh, dear. What did I do? Oh, the vector. Ooh, I was like, what did I do? Um, where's my runway? Three right, yes. Direct to here, okay. Oh, okay, never mind, I figured it out. I've caught my bearings, thank you. And then, going, 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 going. Little more, what the heck is that? Probably could cut this corner and just go from here to there. Um, so 20, 39, we can cut out 40. So we'll put there. Sure, looks nice. Um, and then in. Cool, alright. Sounds dangerous. Uh, whether there... Yeah, there was... Um, there's a bunch of convective segments around. Um, the icing is at 4,000. It's 4,000 to 20,000. But the temperature at 3,000 was like 8. So I was like, damn. Any, uh, any you know, slight deviation, like we'll run into icing. And then in the diamond, it says, because there's no protection, you cannot fly into no icing. So... Uh, yeah, and then at coming home, if we were to, because we were going to go to Charlotte, coming home, by the time, like, we were trying to time it out, and it would, got down to, like, a mile visibility, uh, and gusting wind, so I was like, mm, nah, I'm not scared to get 
fly IMC. Like, I'm not scared to fly in the crap. Um, I just don't want to fly in the crap that'll kill me. So, it's like, we, we should stay two feet on the ground. Um, hey, Kev, what's up, Brody? How are you? Just made the switch to Microsoft. Been loving it so far. First time in the sim in about eight months. Nice, dude. Nice. And I, I will say, like, you came at at a good and bad time because right now the sim itself is going through it's got an update coming out in four days hopefully so you know as you may know or may not know during the update week like the week or two leading up to the update the sim sucks they they break a whole bunch of stuff gearing up for the update um so right now it's in that stage where it's like oh i hate you uh, but it will get better. Uh, this update's supposed to be really good. So, yeah, I see 4,000. And then, like, we were boxed in. So, like, coming. So, like, we're here. Here's a Sigmat. Here's a Sigmat. Here's a Sigmat. And then you got the ocean with, like, a Sigmat up here by Wilmington. So I was like, yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, I'm all right. Uh, or, no, not a Sigmat. A convective Sigmat. It was, like, thunderstorms. And, yeah, I was like, nah, I Nah, because nah. it was like there's in every one of those you know boxes where like the corners meet on the sig on the convective segments, we could have threaded a needle. But I was like, threading a needle at you know 90 ground speed, like 90 knots ground speed, maybe 100, like man, like it just takes one wrong thing and like we're in the we're in the bad of it, in the thick of it. Uh performance. Let's see. Let's go three right. Upload. Upload. And convert. So we got flaps 5, T01 and 47. T0147. T0147. Turn. We'll multitask here. 47. T01. Cool. Glad I'm not working. That. Yeah, I'm glad you're not too. Did you do any flying today? And plus, your work. Or when do you work to start the mornings, right? Because I remember you saying you're gonna be done at like what six o'clock or something. It was like a seven to, or maybe like a seven to five shift, give or take, something like that. Cool. So now we're good here. We're good there. Uh, flaps five per the, the tablet. I don't care about the speeds as long as they're close. Uh, 42, yep, 36, 37, 42, 36, 37, 42, perfect. 42, we'll go right here. Magic button, there it is. Do they use Hector Pascals around here? They, I don't know, we'll roll with it. Uh, cool. They should be downstairs doing some baggage things. No? No? I guess not. Did I? I I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to start it if it didn't start itself. So we'll just roll with it. Uh, Copa. Cool. April 1st, 745 to 545. Okay, okay. April 1st. So that's not, that's not too bad, man. Not too bad. But we'll go ahead and load up the new from Simbrief from there yes sir and cool take a gander here um three right damn i picked the wrong runway what do you think we just go off of three left yeah yeah let's do that because there's not a like we're not on a sid so I, I definitely think why taxi a mile and a half it doesn't make no sense um okay 44 Oh, oh, saw that screen tear. Uh, wrong one. This one. Apply and save. Bye bye. And get down there. Um, 44. Cool. 10,000. Good enough for me. Uh, should go here, go here, get the pumps on and perfect so we can go to push back and departure lovely release the ground power yes you may thank you we'll jump up top here we'll get that on that on those are good we look lovely seat belts can come on and we shall pause the tunes cool uh 
flight director, flight director. LNAV, VNAV. Nope. We'll just put day heading select in then to start. Get above 400 feet and then we'll do it. Put it right on that there line. You'll take that and you'll be happy with it. Park brakes can go. Or a beacon light. Whoa. Uh, that can get gone. You can come here back to. Whoops. That and that. Love it. Love it. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Just want to see if they ever got on. Of course. Of course. Look at that. See? It's kind of like par for my life. Like, literally. Uh, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll pick routes or I'll pick, not routes, like for streaming, but routes to fly in and, you know, like just when I'm wanting to fly, I'm like, okay, yeah, and ain't nobody on, so I'm not going to fly here. I'll fly, you know, over here because somebody's on and then bam, they get on. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. <clears throat> Locking gear. Okay. Let's make sure the airplane noises are... Good, alive, and well. Yes, they are. Lovely. Uh, we want to go nose to the left. Yes, please. Parking brake was off. There you are. Cool. Which way? I hope we don't turn that way. Like, I hope we come this way. Probably not. So, we're going to do a little bit of a... Uh, no, we don't. We're going to do a little bit of acrobatic flying in a 737. How about them apples? Uh, cool. Um, Alright, you guys ready? Let's ride. Here goes nothing. The real deal. Keith, man, what's going on? Salute to you. It's Friday. How are you? Happy Friday. Hopefully your week went extremely well. Will, what's up? How are you, gentlemen? Welcome, welcome. Okay. That I can do. Get a good start at 17.8 or 6. Okay. goes make sure something don't go boom when we go to add some gas and three two one go perfect yes you are you're doing just fine down there mr. man just fine Josh my guy how are you happy Friday you working tonight hope not it's Friday. It's actually, today's actually my Tuesday, so don't make a difference to me. Cool. We got two good ones. We'll go flaps five. We will switch over the gens, jump up top, get the probes, turn the packs on, turn the bleed off, shut the APU off. Lovely. And before we do anything else, we'll turn that to here. We'll go left, right, back, forward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. There's the pin. Thank you. Flash him. Hello. Cool. We are set checked triple checked and ready to go thinking of dusting off the yoke tonight for some boeing ops i haven't flown a 7.3 since the oh yeah dude, you got to it, it's it's fun like i mean as you know but yeah i i got back in here and i was like oh okay this is this is what it's like in these next of the woods eh i've missed it i, I missed it but i am like i'm finally happy that like granted the the choices are limited but there's now another choice of a good, you know, good airplane. I'm 
Oh, why, thank you, my friend. Why, thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate you, appreciate you. How have you been? Hopefully, uh, all is well, yeah? What y'all have for dinner? I had a gas station sub. Because I was anticipating going to Charlotte. So I was like, you know, I don't want to eat a full dinner to where I have to, you know, be not feeling the greatest on my flight. So I was like, let me just get a, a sub, like fresh made, small sub, get a drink to go with it, and that should be good. Well, we didn't go grocery shopping yet, and I'm not in the mood to cook anything. So I was like, well, dang, I guess for the first time in my life, I might go to bed hungry. No, I'm just kidding. I'll probably make a bowl of cereal. Uh, not working tonight. Took the optional VTO voluntary time off. So I still rack up vacation. Hey, there you go. I'd have done the same. I'd have done the same thing. Same thing. There we go. Not on VATSIM. We're just rolling with it. Ain't nobody down here. A lot has changed, but things are good. Good. Good, good, good. Wawa, I wish. No, we have, um, damn, what is it? What do I go to down here? It's, um, 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Wings and pizza. Ooh, ooh. What kind of wings and what kind of pizza? By the far as man, both planes need good FPS. Uh, need good FPS to be more enjoy. Yeah, no, I, I'm right there with you. I am right there with you. Now I got 40% thrust and we're like moving at a snail's pace. Like normally you'd be like whipping around this corner. Oh well. Alright, here we go. You darn skippy it is. Start this turn. Make sure we're, yep, higher than the mountains. <laughs> it's like, oh dear. We better check before uh, before we go blasting through into these mountains here. Bump pretty good. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it's just like I always say. It's just, it's just nice to see different terrain. Like really, really cool to see you know different terrain around the world. Go flaps up. Get the music back. Yes, <laughs> I'm drooling. <laughs> yeah, we're in the PMDG tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we got flaps up. Turn that off. That's good. Why are you so loud? And through 4,600. Watch your ears. Yeah, that's nice. Hello. There is downtown over there, or Central Business District, I think, is the, the main thing in South America. The CBD. <laughs> Awesome. Um, they got a standard altimeter around here. 
or altimeter as some people say sid there it is uh, 18,000 feet. Ooh, ships, look at that. Look at it. Boats. Yeah, baby. Uh, it was a crate your own pizza and limited pizza topping and uh, buffalo hot wings from the local pizza. Ooh, dang, that sounds divine. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds lovely. Um, Domino's. Uh, it's not the greatest, I know. But uh, if you guys don't know, Domino's, if you order from the app, from now until the end of the month, you, uh, you'll you get half off of your pizzas. So I'll be doing that. Fine, I'm going to fire up the sim. Uh, I need some 738 in my life. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like, It's just a... It's. It may not be the gold standard, or it may not be the turn on my controller real quick um be the best thing since sliced bread but it's just reliable you know like and it looks good like look at that like it's just a good looking airplane go we're probably at 10,000 which we definitely are we'll go lights 36 altitude intervene and go baby go there we go getting sponsored by Domino's no I'm getting sponsored by hopefully a gym from all the food that I do eat shoot they should. If they knew if they knew want, wanted to make some money, or at least have you know one of the good moral stories. Like you can add that to your resume. Like, you know, we did the community a good deed. We got this uh, potential obese guy uh, on the path to healthy. Because I tell you what, <laughs> beautiful. Let's see what's over here. We looked over there a bunch. Okay. Bunch of nothing. Some nice lakes or streams, gall, or whatever you want to call it. That's a lake for sure. Uh, wife got pizza from Papa John's the other day and they gave a hot spicy garlic dipping sauce. Ooh, hot spicy garlic. Okay. That sounds divine. Dip your crust in there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's one of those. Uh... Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those. Yes. Hmm. Show the pink people. All right, here they are. Hold on. Hold on. Uh pink people so it's it's something to g to gsx right like then there's more there's a lady like in the seat wow god bless that's gotta hurt um he's reading wonder what are you reading sir she's uh, he is on his phone he's reading the checkerboard but yeah those those are all of the uh, the pink passengers, right? Where we've taken the Pink Panthers family and we brought them uh, on board. Or was that uh, donate shacks and pizza pun? Now you want to put your pizzas at your door? Oh God! If I did, God, I I could definitely definitely put down about. 20 of them yeah my ki the twins let me tell you my twins oh dear dumb little bastards can eat like we went through uh what was it like nine eggs like they wanted scrambled eggs so i was like okay you know whip up you know four eggs more 
So I was like, oh damn, two more, one each, okay. More. So I was like, forget it. Like, here's two more each. I was like, damn, that's nine eggs we just went through in one sitting. And they, they were still, like, if I would have kept feeding them, they would have kept eating. I was like, no, 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 y'all are done. Go, go play. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> walking Dead simulation, right? Right? As long as they don't start getting up, then we got a problem. Because, I mean, that door didn't look like it, it could withstand a fart. Um, they they didn't do a very good job on this cockroach door. Now, granted, it doesn't open, but you know, just looking at it, it looks pretty flimsy. Wonder if that's some sort of GSX beta. I know GSX is working on it somewhere. It is. It is. And the only reason I can tell you it 100% is is because like three weeks ago, maybe two, three weeks ago, um, when I went to update my GSX, there was three boxes: A320. Excuse me. A320 fly-by-wire, I believe, and the Phoenix A320. You know, whatever. And it asked if I wanted uh, passengers. So I clicked all the boxes, thinking like, finally, they made that update we saw at Expo. And then 20 minutes later, that option is gone. There is nowhere to click it, unclick it. You can't find it anymore. It's it's gone. Um, and this is what I'm stuck with, these purple people. Like, it's cool to see them, but it also sucks when you see that, right? Like. The controller like every screenshot now you kind of have to manipulate it unless that doesn't bother you but you know you get purple pass you know you get little checkers checkerboard people hanging out in the airplane which i'm like yeah it's cool you know one time but when i want to get a screenshot or a thumbnail like the last thing i want in there is these little purple bastards um but yeah well that's a view look at that that's a view right there. Hello, hello. So yeah, like it's cool, but I just want it gone now. But they don't show up in the 320. So this is the only plane that it truly shows up in. Like Phoenix, it won't won't show up. And I wonder if it was like Phoenix before the Block 2 version, two, whatever you call it, the new one. Yeah. Oh, hello. Those igniters are probably cooked. <clears throat> oh, did y'all uh, take a look at this? Oops. Of all the people who are coming, I 100% saw it earlier I was like oh okay you know they're having a video on it and then that's about all I remember of the day um other sponsors with those blah 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 yeah 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 cool um limited time time to oh shoot I better do that um but yeah all these these companies and so on and so forth will be at uh uh the thing which is kind of cool because last year when I went um, wrong side and I had dinner with the the owner, CEO, whatever you want to call him, of Black Square. Where is it? Somewhere. Uh, wherever the name is, Black Square. Um, we had dinner with QA Pilot, um, Jetline Systems. Well, he's good friends with the Magic Guys, as we all know. Um, so it was bound to be to be that. Uh, but it was it was so cool. We had a, a conversation with the the owner of FS Elite, uh, just standing in the hallway, like you know, kind of. I don't I don't know about him. But I can tell you, I was buzzed. Um, I've talked to TFDI Design. Um, there was a couple more, a lot more. Um, I don't know, but yeah, it, it was so cool to just be there. Tuto Murphy, yep, talk to him a good bit. Um, and just, you know, talking to these people, right? Like, you would think, oh, wow, like, who are you? Oh, I'm Neil, and I own Orbix. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, but yeah, you know, and nobody really walked around like they had a stick up their butt. Like, oh, I make airplanes, so I'm higher than thou. Like, everybody was just cool, enjoying the day, the night, you know, whatever, just 
all over there geeking about airplanes. So it was really cool to see all these these people. Um, Southwest Virtual, that was cool. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys are all going and I'll see you guys and all that good jazz. I uh, ended up making one of those tillers that CST was giving away. Works well, really. Hmm. I've always wanted one, but I don't. I really don't have anywhere to put it. Like every day I come into my my little gaming corner, that's all I get is and think of like, hmm, how could I make this space more usable? And I don't have an option. Like one would be if I could find a way to mount the the Bravo, the honeycomb things that I have, like under my desk. But the problem with that almost is my desk has this little metal rail under it um, so it's like I don't know if I mount it under it will it still have enough clearance for things like actually I don't know I don't know but yeah I wish I could kind of make it more ergonomical without you know oh you can go buy a new desk well you know shit but like I don't want to spend $140 on a desk or $200 because um, I don't have $200 to spend on a desk but, yeah, there's got to be a way. Rhyming, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. But one thing about me is I lack creativeness and the financial backings to do the creativeness. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've always wanted a tiller, full circle. Ain't got nowhere to put it. I could put it on my lap. Like, I could just put it right here and just put it here. And then when I get done, I'll stick it in this little, this little dresser I bought from Ikea that holds a whole bunch of crap. As of now, it's a cup holder. But, yeah. No, it's never done. It's never done. Like, I miss the days when I literally, all I had was the Logitech 3D Pro, some stupid Thrustmaster all-in-one, I think I still might even have the, the T1600. I, I started with the Logitech 3D Pro, so I was literally using my hands for everything. One hand on the stick, you know, the little slider on the back, like boop, 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 boop. That was my rudder and everything. Um, and then I felt like I was a big boss, and I got the Thrustmaster T16000 or whatever you call it. And I was like, damn, I'll never upgrade again. I don't need anything. Like, got a joystick. I can fly all the airplanes. Got throttles. Got rudder pedals. And then I went down this rabbit hole of... Now I need a yoke, and now I need proper throttles, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, dude, what the heck? So, but yeah, it's never done. But I tell you, one day, I'm just going to cut myself off. Uh-uh. So, one of us, oh, I read that one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Q8 is really nice. Like, I mean, you could tell in in the the voice of him, right? Because we don't know what, well, I know what he looks like. Um, you guys may as well, but either way, you could tell he is a very genuine, wholehearted person. But actually sitting down and talking to him at, over dinner, um, guys, he's, he's amazing. Um, same with, well, I didn't have dinner with Tuto, um, but I talked to him for a couple times that, that he's just a really cool guy. Like, uh, I started with a Flight Sim 98, a keyboard and a mouse, and a gateway, oh my goodness, a gateway computer. Uh, I had... My very first ever was FSX, and it was on a compact. <laughs> it was on the family compact computer. I mean, the the tower was, you know, the size of my TV. It sounded like a freight train rolling through, um, and it worked just fine. Like, at least I think it did. I wouldn't have known. Like, hell, I wasn't out there FPS chasing or anything like that like if if i got in and flew the orbit what is it orbit airlines or something like that 747 um i was perfectly fine and i remember i used to use my parents gps because I, I had no idea how to work these airplanes like i would literally get in like i'm gonna fly to la take off on the 74 and i probably landed on a highway thousands of times like oh there's the airport three minutes later i'm in la but i remember this one time i was like 13-ish, 14, and I was like, all right, I know there's a way to, to get places, right? So I looked on the GPS, remember the one you stick on the windshield? And I was like, all right, it takes me three hours to get from here to here. And I just kept moving the GPS and flying on my flight sim. So I went from Boston to Philadelphia in the sim using a car GPS, and I felt so accomplished, and I never did it again. <laughs> I was like, screw this. And then I stopped playing until 
I was probably 21, 22, 21, yeah. No, no, I was even sooner than that. 20, maybe. Something around there. Uh, X-Plane 11. I bought it. I used to work at Best Buy before I uh, went away to college. Bought this gaming computer off a guy from Geek Squad who was also into flight simming. He gave me it with X-Plane 11 already installed. Um, I just had to buy the airplanes, obviously. And then from there, I was hooked. Still didn't know how to do all that crap. Uh, plug in air, you know, gee, I, so I was sitting there we weaseling my way through everything. Uh, but yeah, and then here I am today. Still don't know what I'm doing. I'm just a good button presser. I put on a good act. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, top of climb, top of, okay. Um, we should indefinitely look over what we're going to do. Works well. And they don't made an add-on for the Bravo that has a parking brake fuel cutoff. So really? I gotta talk to you. Because that, the, the cutoffs, dude, if I could flip a switch for a cutoff, oh my god. How, how much you charge? How much do you charge? Um, our approach into M-Rock. We said we're doing 2.5 and it's the whiskey. There it is, there it is. So if we hit Rydux at 10,000, um, what's one and two, where are they? Uh, oh, max uh, 8,000, sorry, 8,000 for Rydux, inventory 8,000, okay, so 8,000, and then we come down to 6,300, and then from there we go 55, and down it in, so. We'll do that. Uh, parking stands. Oh, look at them hot spots. Uh, should just make one big box. Like, oh no, don't confuse me. Um, we'll probably let's take Alpha Nine, shall we? Um, we're on two five nine thousand eight seventy nine. Um, and lastly, what we should take a gander at is we are a Category C airplane. Oh, God. 3,358. So we'll start that now. 3,358. Because I'm willing to bet that our RMP is going to be... Uh, 0 0.10 Let me actually move this chart here Yeah, if you ever get to uh, Selling a few cutoff switches Let me know Please and thank you I'll start saving my lunch money and my allowance and uh I'll, I'll, I'll buy one. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt. 358 there dang do you mind if I show this yeah that's cool as hell that is dope yeah do, do you mind if I show this Um, the, I have the Bravo throttles, and then I bought the 737 add-on from ProDesk Sim, which I do need to get one replacement for the flap. I broke the spring, so. But, um, yeah, I use the, the add-ons. It kind of just, it makes them a little more true to size, right? 
like instead of those dinky little things, like you know, a little bigger, and then. But. Then I also have the uh, the Airbus ones as well. So more. Oh, cool! All right. So yeah, look at this thing. Park brake, fuel cutoff switches. That's cool. And then he's got a tiller. Yeah, that's dope. That's so cool. Like I would, I would. I don't even know where I'd put it if I had one. I'd find a place. To sit on my lap, like I said. Well, yeah, that park brake is what got me. The cutoff switches, like stand them up, shut them down. I can see it now. <laughs> I can see it now. That's cool. Um, did we pass our top of drop? Um, cruise, cruise, three, six, zero. There we go. Should be up here somewhere. And then, oh, there, what? That's not it. That can't be it. Um, 10,000 is our first restriction. Cool. Just getting a little spring thing, like a two-part epoxy. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, because, I, I mean, that's really all I need is... Just that. Actually, no, I think I need to just. Wait. No, I have to just buy a whole new. Because this is the one. Because I, I remember. Um, I took it off the throttle one day and it just split. So I'm using the default one that came with the Bravo. Um, so yeah, I need the actual thing. I'm thinking of mapping uh, fuel cutoffs to the Thrustmaster throttle. That'd be pretty cool. Like if, if, yeah, if you could do that, that'd be super dope. Top of descent is in 31 miles. So, okay. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. Yeah, that would be super cool. Because they're, you know, right there. Do you find it odd at all? Like, because there's detents, right? Like, is it hard to manipulate where the range is? Because, like, I remember, because I used to have them. And then when I got this, I sold them. But I always was kind of annoyed with how small the range was from, like, zero to the first detent so i was like you move it you know this much and you get like this much power um does that ever come like odd to you or did you kind of just get used to it because i remember like there'd be times where i'm like yeah i don't feel like i'm plugging this crap i'm not i'm not plugging this for the 15th time this week so i would fly you know boeing with the airbus stuff but I always had that horrible problem of manipulating the throttles because of the range of motion of the throttle itself. Like, moving an inch and I get 90% power. Uh, not really, I don't mind the detents. Uh, I just... No, it's not ideal. But yeah, you got, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you don't have another option, right? Like, you just get used to it. Like, for me, I got lucky f after a while and was able to get the Thrustmaster. Uh, or, sorry, the uh, Bravo. I think that's the Bravo. Whatever it is, the Honeycomb. So when I would forget, I'm like, whoa, that's different. Because the Honeycomb has quite the range of motion. Like, you know, I can move it a good deal and kind of manipulate the throttles a little better. But. Oh, real quick, we got to check on my uh, on my war. Hold on. We're gonna have to take a gander at this. Which one is 
this? Yeah, I'm Colombia, and this guy in Venezuela had yeah, this right here is he. So this guy bought his his army basically. So you can go and buy. Where is it? Uh, the shop. Where's the shop? There's a, anyways, like, you can buy better soldiers, and they're called officers, and they give you, like, super hit points, super damage, and that's what this little twit, this little twit did, is he bought level, like, six officers for, like, 50 bucks, I'm like, what a loser, um, so I rolled into his city, and I had, like, 15 troops, a couple helicopters, and they got absolutely waxed, like, I mean, destroyed, um, so I had to stop battling like United States is my ally he's taken over all of Mexico Canada is my ally but this guy's not doing anything he's probably gonna get kicked uh, we've got Argentina and Bolivia they're all my allies so I was like guys I can't fight no more um, otherwise I'm toast so started building up my air force got these air superiorities got a tank um, but that's just one war um, the other one I'm in is this one, and we're, we're talking to, no, wrong war, uh, this one. So it's me, Florida, and Quebec. Same war. Uh, we have made an agreement that on Monday, real world Monday, British Columbia, Saskatchewan, and Minnesota, I think, Michigan, one of the two. Um, I don't know who the, the actual guy is. What is it? Uh, Minnesota. They're in alliance versus us, and we're going to duke it out. But, yeah, this is my other war. Like, it doesn't look like a lot, but all of my troops are pretty high level. I've got battle tanks. I've got fighters. I've got helicopters somewhere oh i'm over here bombing the piss out of haiti right now <laughs> um because i needed their stuff and this guy is just being an idiot uh so i've been lighting him up all day long um and then florida look at florida's navy like it's got the golf on lock so once we go and destroy hopefully this guy who i'm pretty sure has nukes like because i sent a spy you could send you could pay you know in-game money to have a spy um like he has where is it he has a level five arms industry and in this game at level five you can develop missiles uh to make nukes so i only have conventional warheads so i'm gonna send i'm gonna launch some at him once i can i know he's got a big base here and a big base here so i'm gonna send my bombers and i'm gonna light those two cities up um, but i always have to keep checking to make sure this guy honors his peace treaty because um, he's already sent spies into my town uh, of Raleigh, and I've caught him. Like, I've paid for counter -op, counter spies, and I've caught him trying to steal or sabotage my industries. So, I, I hope he doesn't keep it up, because I'd hate to drop a bomb on his head. Now, my next research is... Going for stealth. Um, so I will develop actually the B 52 because I'm using an old bomber, B 47. So I'll get the B 52 and then a stealth bomber. I'm going to go in there under the thing of stealth and light his behind up. Um, then I'm also going to do uh, the F 35 for a strike fighter. I'll probably start that tomorrow. Light his ass up. So yeah. And we're in the decent. Perfect. So yeah, those are my wars. I keep checking on them, make sure I'm not getting absolutely annihilated. But there will be a day where I just get absolutely crapped on when I'm in a flight lesson. I guarantee it. It's what happened last time. I was doing my long my long cross country and these guys decided to absolutely cook me, so I I, I wound up as 
leaving the world. Nah, I'm not doing this. Uh, Yerbus Tise, I modded to arm the speed. I saw that, yep. Added better detents for the throttles, changed the engine levers to uh, be lift ups like the real airplane needed. Added flap detents. Really? So you basically took the whole thing that they want you to pay, you know, 120 bucks for, or whatever it is, 150 bucks, and just made it? And made it better. Okay. See, if I knew you around when I had those, I'd ask you, like, hey, look, I'll, I'll pay for all the materials and everything. Like, then I probably never would have sold it. Because um, that's that's awesome. Like, that is awesome. And the brake lifts up. Wow. Wow. That's, that's dope. Now, do you also have yours... Well, the Airbus one, you kind of have to have it on top of the desk. But, like, for your Bravo, do you have that mounted under your desk? Or is it on top? Because the one thing I hate, genuinely hate about these things, is the, the desk space it takes up. Like, literally on top of my desk is... Like, my keyboard is literally on top of the, the yoke in the, the throttle. Because there ain't nowhere to put it. I'm like... Why do you need so much space? Especially for the Bravo. It's like... The back end of it is... I, I'm willing to bet it's just five wires and a bunch of air. Like, it's so light in the back, but it takes up a monstrosity. mile ring what we say our speed was 141 I'll just put that in here as a reminder there now we got a reminder so other than that we are set up cool 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 it's mounted the Bravo uh, it's mounted the bra okay gotcha 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 that's awesome yeah Whew. oh did you guys see the um the da50 rg that's coming to microsoft and cows the people who made the 42 um captain nate sent me screenshots from their discord of that airplane uh, of them making the da40 which will be awesome um, definitely want to get that, but the DA40 or DA50 RG, I really want it. Like, really, 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 really want it. Uh, 350 po uh, horsepower diesel engine in that monster. So imagine a pretty much a DA42 with retractable, or sorry, DA40 retractable gear and a 350 horsepower engine. Um, that thing will move. Uh, finally got the thrust mode 70 cent yoke. That's big. Uh, I really want it just because I want to feel the pendular feeling. Like, I, I still have this one. Um, but I, for the life of me, I just can't justify $500 or 400 whatever the four or $500 for it. Like, when I felt it at Expo, I was like, I don't get a $400 feel or value of it $500 like it's not that it's bad I just I just like yeah it doesn't I can't I don't get the value like I guess essentially you're paying for that pendular feeling but I'm like I don't feel that's worth five four or five hundred dollars like three hundred all right eight it had me sold but not not five hundred I don't even remember. 
Hey, Fires, what's up, man? How are you? Happy Friday to you. Got yours from a guy in Jacksonville. 250. Oh, bro. For, yeah, 250. I'd have pulled that trigger quick. Quick. Like, they had a couple on Marketplace that I was like, hmm. It was like 275 and like $15 shipping and handling. But I also know the Marketplace scams. Like, swear to goodness, like, if I had a Bible right now, I'd put my hand on it. Um, guy I used to work with went to go buy an iPad off a of Marketplace. And when he paid the however much, like granted it was protect, you know, how you buy like, or it has like protection on it. Um, he got the box for the iPad, opened it, and there was literally like uh, something to equivalent the weight and then a picture, a paper picture of an iPad. Like, so he was like, dude, I, I literally picked up the box. It felt like there was an iPad in it. I opened it. And it was a picture. And he was like, I thought it was just some prank. Like, I lift the box up. You know, there wasn't nothing there. Like, I would have murdered somebody. I'm telling you right now. You just saw me on the headline of CNN. Uh, 3003. Yeah, so for that reason, like, unless I'm picking something up in person... I'm not, I don't, I don't trust marketplace. Like, like I said, granted he had the, the pay protection or whatever. So, um, you know, Facebook reimbursed him, but I was like, nah, 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 not happening. Mike, what's up, my guy? How are you? Appreciate you. Hopefully all is well, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Couple holes in the wall for sure. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Mike, hopefully you have a great Friday, great weekend. Hopefully all is well, sir. I'm going to catch up soon. This this segment of flight training has been brutal. So I've just been busy, but I've been catching some replays. And uh, great job, truly. Just want to keep want to keep telling you that. Uh, I see the passion. Like, I'm, I'm saying it's like I'm some world star guy. I, psh, but I see it from one cool, uh, from another, cool, you know, cool streaming environment to another. Like, you're doing 100% the right stuff. Love watching it. Yeah, there'd have been holes in the wall. Like, oh, my. I'd have found out where that dude lived, and I would have like, I took him in the basement type crap. <laughs> I'd have been like, I'm coming at you with razor blades and lemon juice, my friend. Razor blades and lemon juice. Two fifty one is what we'll put. right now have to say was, oh what all right let me uh, yeah I, I was gonna have a flight today but the weather got can weather canceled it so i was like eh, i'll come home hop on the old youtube go make sure i've normally when i see because you're you're actually like phenomenal at putting out streams ahead of time uh and i normally just hit the like button when i see them Yep, I've already done it. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure I've already liked it. But yes, as always. Oh, and what's up, my guy? Salute to you. Happy Friday. Are you uh, doing any flying today? My flight got canceled. New on Check's channel. Uh, and have some giggles. That's that's the plan. That is the plan. It could be something aviation. It could not be. But yes, you will learn something here. You will definitely get some giggles. And all of that good stuff. Dang, it's already 9 o'clock. You can only learn if you try. Yeah. Uh, you should fly in the weather. I, you know, I should have. Should have. But, you know, I was thinking, I was like, I don't, I'm not scared of IMC. But I am, I am scared of, you know, falling out of the sky as an ice block. A little bit. A little nervous. Whoops. Would they let you video your flying? Yes and no. Um, you can essentially record. If I have a GoPro, I can mount it in the airplane um, for like private use. So like I can take it, I can take it home and use it as like studying. But I can't. The moment I put it on YouTube. And they, if they were to ever find out, 
like I can get kicked out of the program because they didn't approve it. Like they'd have to go in and improve everything. Um, and for me, it's like, it's not worth the hassle. Cause like, there's a guy in Indy who actually used to record like his, like a journey type thing. Like, Oh, my journey from lift Academy you know, zero to hero, blah, blah, blah. Um, and he kept saying that they, uh, they would tell him no. So he'd spend, you know, four or five hours editing these videos, the cut scenes and all that crap. And they didn't like one thing in this video and they say no. So he's like, forget it. Like, I, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, so I was like, I, I don't blame you. Like, I'd have never started. Did a fly from Hickory and back in the, ugh, in the soup. Well, I would have loved to do it. Rich's World, what's up, my guy? How are you? Uh, earn that if I fly in the way. I was gonna. I was gonna, but there was... We were boxed in, like, if Myrtle's here, we had a convective sigma here, one here, one here, and then one like that. Like, ocean, and then one kind of going over Wilmington out to Charlotte. We were flying into... We were gonna go to Charlotte. We were gonna go to Concord. Um... But there was convective sigmets. Icing was at 4,000, but at 3,000 the temperature was like eight. So I was like, "Ooh, yeah, one bad, you know, one one stone's throw away from no bueno." No, thank you. 63, I think it was. Do they let you vape? No, no, they don't. 6,300. So we'll put that in. Pause the tunes like that. Lights. Continuous. Uh, make sure the airplane noises are back up. Cool. Yeah, flying in this. But the funny thing is, is it was supposed to absolutely downpour. Like, I mean, apparently the sky was supposed to open up on us here at Myrtle. And I told my instructor, I said, look, we're going to cancel this flight. And there's not going, it's just going to look nasty all night long. Guarantee you, um, won't happen. <laughs> but the moment we go to line up on the runway is when it starts torrential downpouring. Uh, I'm going to focus on this arrival of flying with Mike. So I got them to pop in. Hey, all right, cool. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Exactly. Yeah. you got to stay sharp, right? Like, uh, I need it. <laughs> Yeah, if they, I, I mean, hell, if it was my plan, I'm like, look, just, I don't care what you do, just don't, keep us above the trees, right? Like, keep the blue side up. Um, but yeah, they're, uh, little sticklers. Little sticklers, I tell you. But somewhere down here is San Jose, what is it? Is it San Jose del Cabo? Or is it just San Jose? It's probably not even not, San Jose, just San Jose, Costa Rica. Probably thinking of the wrong one. But yeah, San Jose, Costa Rica is down here somewhere. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah. Oh, and when's the next time you, uh, making a trip back down to Myrtle? Uh, do you do those in prep for the airline? Oh, these? No, I just do it because I like it. I, I just, I just thoroughly enjoy flying, you know, flying these. Like, I think when I get to the airlines, it'll, it'll definitely help. Um, because not that I'm saying I know how to do it at an airline standard, but, you know, I'll, I'll have an idea of like, oh, I've, you know, I've seen these buttons before. Like, I have an idea of how things work, like, especially programming the box. Like, am I doing it right? I don't know. But at least it, I'm not looking at it like, you know, chicken with my head cut off. Like, oh, oh yeah, I, I don't know. But it'll help, I, I'm sure. So, like, simming 100% helps. Like, especially when you get on VATSIM, like, um, that's like the live ATC. So all these are, are controllers. So like Charlotte's up, uh, Atlanta Center. So you can get on and literally talk to Charlotte Approach, um, all that stuff. And, you know, if you get a good controller, you would know the difference between them and like a real controller. Monday evening? Okay, cool. Hopefully if I'm around, 
Um, I don't know if I have a flight or anything, but yeah, let me know. For sure. 141. Let's go flaps 5. I really hope that's not our airport. No, that's not it. It's over there. <laughs> 210. Listening for 2500. Approach lights. Three planes down right now? What? What happened? 15, gear down. Spoilers are armed. Uh, so just wondering, you don't have to say if you don't want to, but how much have you spent so far? Uh, what accomplishments do I have and what am I trying to accomplish? So for my private, it's going to go flaps. 30 for it stalls please don't um for my private that was about ten thousand dollars um to do all of that we'll put in no oh shoot three thousand hold on autopilot off we'll just fly it in from here um so i've spent about 10 grand on my private um to get in the lift that was ninety thousand dollars so i took out a loan for that um, well, it was actually 65 and then, you know, plus the cost of living um, f with a family. Like, if it was just me, I would have took out far less. Um, but to have the cost of living for my family, I needed more than that. Um, I have my private. I am going for my instrument. I will get my commercial. I will get my commercial multi. I will get my CFI, my CFII, and then I will also get a... ATP, your airline transport license, um, and the end goal is to be, well, not is to be, I will be, um, guaranteed a captain at Republic, um, well, guaranteed a first officer at Republic, um, with the sign-on bonus that I got in the contract I signed, uh, I will be a captain within a year, hopefully, of being at Republic, so, all in all, I've probably spent a hundred and Five thousand dollars chasing a green, chasing a dream. Up the power. There we go. There we go. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Runway in sight. Landing. Sweet. Get off here. Cool. So are you still working on part time? No, I am not working, not one bit. Um, luckily enough, um, my, my wife has um, 
she she owns her own business so she she owns her own travel company um and she's you know with what i get for I, uh, cost of living right like every every three months lift academy will well sally may the lender the loan will uh give me like my installments of cost of living um and then what else what that doesn't pay for she will foot you know foot the bill for the rest of it so um she's actually paying for all of the other things that you know we used to you know with my income would, would i don't want to say take care of but you know would be put towards that so um i got a wonderful amazing super awesome wife that allows me to do this like follow my dream and you know she spits out the money for diapers and gas and beer <laughs> and pizza and all that stuff so um without her i i don't want to say it would be impossible um but it would be a lot harder than than with her um so yeah she she foots the bill so um basically the the, the joking the running joke is when i become a pilot and i get that sign-on bonus i have to pay for her and her friends to go to a villa and, and just go on vacation for a week she's like i've earned it. i was like "Ooh, that's gonna hurt so that's yeah because she's already like her and her friend like she's already told her friends like yeah i you know i'm you know holding down the fort while he's doing this but don't you worry when he becomes a pilot that uh the the re the reimbursement for for this will be uh <laughs> i'm telling you oh man we'll be uh we're going uh to a villa so i was like done deal like done deal i was like shoot if i only gotta pay for a villa what alaska and they landed this way okay well you're not gonna beat me buddy yeah he is but yeah she's awesome um you know she she does excuse me she's worth her weight and all right like gold what's higher than gold diamond platinum all that but yeah so when I when like when people are like oh you know you know the running a failure is not an option no literally failure <laughs> uh, failure is not an option um, because we sold our house to come here I left my job so we we basically moved here uh, and I was starting life over to pursue a better career so if we have to go back there's literally nothing I can go back to. I could reapply to American, but I wouldn't get my job back. I would be at the bottom of the pole. Um, so, no. And I don't have a college degree. So I would literally be going back to working, you know, at an entry level or a minimum wage job. Amtrak, what's up, Brody? Uh, I'm sure she gets more some discount of her line work, so it shouldn't cost you more than what... Eh, well, actually her for her job she gets a whole bunch of free stays and travel perks so normally like when we used to travel um you know the, the most expensive thing that we would a lot of times have to pay for is is honest to god you know the food we buy at the airport um because she was using her points and redemption stuff whatever they are um to go you know to go on the vacation and then with my flight benefits that would be our our airfare so we really didn't ever pay too too much for uh vacation luckily but uh 12 sure no what did i i worked on the uh i worked i was a ramp i was working in the ramp um and i was just at that point in so in, in the airline industry like as a ramper like not like i didn't do management i refused to do management um at least right now ask me in a couple of years i probably would have took them up on the offer but you just hit this this sweet spot where you don't leave right like you 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 don't make it to the point where you're rich but you don't make it you make it to the point where if you leave now you're not going to find a job that fulfills your needs you create your own schedule and you get the benefits that you have um 
So like, you know, my, my health insurance was absolutely dirt cheap. My, I only worked three days a week, full time in three days. Um, you know, obviously I flew me and my family, we flew for free. Um, well, I shouldn't say free. We flew free in, our, uh, in the country, dirt cheap internationally. Um, so there was a lot of benefits that you just simply will not get at another job. Um, don't matter how you cut it. Uh, whoops, wrong side. Um, so I was at, I was approaching that point, even the pay, like it just wouldn't make sense to leave and start over. Um, so I was like, it's, it's leave now and commit to a 141 school or a lift Academy school or, you know, piloting will kind of take a back seat because I would just be working, making pretty decent money. Um, what do you say? Final flight. No, this isn't the final flight. We got one more. We got one more flight. Uh, here, here. And there. And there. And there. And there. Oh my god, mother. Sorry. <laughs> um, am I becoming a pilot? I am. Uh, yes, sir. I am. Uh, so I have my private now, uh, I'm working towards my instrument, should hopefully have it within the month, then I'll go to commercial, commercial multi, then I'll be gone for five weeks up in Indianapolis, get my CFI, double I, and then I'll come home and I'll be a teacher. <laughs> Can you guys believe it? They'll trust me to teach people how to fly. Good luck. Like they said in, uh, what is it, Taken. Good luck. Cool. So we'll do that. Um... Replay. I'm gonna. I recorded this one. We won't watch it now because it'll bust the sim basically. Uh, but I will save it. I'll save this one. Uh, M Rock. And then once we're all done with the night or something of something like that, I will uh, either record it, show you later. Or we'll come back and watch it. Yeah, I was. Um, but I didn't. I didn't do this. Like this wasn't my job. Uh, I wasn't in the belly. I wasn't this guy I was that guy um, so at you know at Charlotte or hub airports um, you only have one job I can only speak for American one you have one job um, where I would pick up a certain bags right like I'd be like oh I gotta pick up the LA flight I gotta pick up this and I gotta pick up that blah 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 and I would go around the airport and I would drop bags off to the airplanes um, take bags like if you came in say from I don't know Charleston and you were going on the London flight 1130 it goes to the later belt so if you were sitting in Charlotte for more than two hours your bag just goes sit somewhere I don't know where it just sits somewhere so I would take it to the belt let it sit so they'd get it later take it to your airplane um, or I would pick it up here and there'd literally be times where I'd pick up a, get a plane or a bag here and I'd take it to the plane here like inbound Orlando flight put a bag on the LA flight put a bag on the San Francisco flight the Vegas flight the Syracuse flight so I just go around and drop bags off. I go back to the break room, sit around for a couple hours, do it again. <laughs> instrument, then instrument two. We only have one. Uh, there, well, at least as much as I know, there's only one instrument. So I'll get my, yeah, just my one instrument rating, and then that's it. Got nothing more. Uh, nothing more. Nothing less. I'll be a, gearing up for my commercial. Uh, then I'll, at that point, I'll be a professional pilot because I can get paid to, uh, paid for my services. So I can go fly for like mountain air cargo or something like that. Uh, let me see. Let me get this next flight plan rolling here. Uh, whoops. MROC 2 MGGT in like that and we're looking at what it is a one hour 10 minute flight so cool i will jump in here we'll jump over here and start doing some work jump over here to index to this and but yeah um dcs and vr is cool i bet i bet dcs is cool i like watching i hate playing it i 
suck at it. Uh, YouTube. So yeah, for who was it? Who was it? Taco. Yes, I am becoming a pilot. See, looky here. I'll prove it to you. Uh, it's kind of a bad one too. Uh, that, that's actually not even the one I was looking for. So. Well, there's. Yeah, there's my airplane I flew that day. Um, there's some more. So yeah, if you go look at all the shorts, you can find all of the uh, the ones I've posted. There was a motivational one. Whoops. So yeah, once like I said, uh, where am I? I'm yeah, Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach. So yeah, I was a rapper. Yeah, LTA. Studying for my private. All right, so I did all of my training while working, just like 99% of the world. Uh, 98, because there's probably that 2% of people who do go to, you know, drop what they're doing or whatever. Got my private. And that was my flight the other night cruising above some clouds. So yeah, I am on the verge of being a commercial pilot for Republic. The DA-40 is awesome. Like, I never thought it would be so cool until I got it at M Rock. Um, what is it? I've seen you around for over four and a half years. Just wanted to say, go get your dream. Hell, you deserve it. Oh, well, heck, dude. I, nah, I appreciate it, man. That, that you know, that means my, that, or that means the world um, to, to hear that, see that. So thank you. And heck, hey, weren't here before, but you're here now. So that's, you know, to me, that's all that matters. You took the opportunity to stop by, say hi, hopefully enjoy it. Um, you know, I'm not big like some other streamers don't care to be. I do it just because I love it. Um, you know, I love hanging out with the people in the chat talking about airplanes making a fool of myself on the internet um but nah, i i you know the, the words of encouragement encouragement i that that means a lot and i, I really appreciate that uh what do we gotta do here that work fool you feeling and boarding 62 would be your dream plane? Nah, I want the DA-52RG. DA-52RG. But if I was going to spend that kind of money, or, no, the DA-50, sorry. DA-50RG. Um, if I was going to spend that kind of money on an airplane, like, I, I'd probably just go buy something different. But, nah, look at this monster. Look at it! Oof! That would be my my airplane wait no that, that's a pc12 yeah but nah if i if you know money was not necessarily an option 100 percent pc12 100 percent. that is the swiss army knife of airplanes and then if money was just genuinely no option like hey bro go buy you an airplane like go buy what you want go have fun and do what, whatever it is that you want to do Call me crazy. I'm not buying a Gulfstream. I'm not buying a Global. None of that. Ready? Actually, let me, let me put it over here. Let me put it over here. Challenger 600. Like, does everything I'd ever want in a you know in a private airplane. I don't need to go spend 50 bazillion trillion dollars. It's not 20 or 10 or 20 grand an hour to operate. You know, like I can get high and fast. I can go far, all that. So that'd be my like, if money was just not an option. Now, if I was like Bezos rich, yeah, I'd go easily. Get a global, like what, 8,500 or something like that. Yeah, easily. But, you know, I'd, I would be more than content. 100%, I'd be uber content uh with one of these vision jet yeah i'd take a vision jet without a doubt 
What is a T-34B? Ooh, what? That's crazy. How about a Honda Jet? I would get a Honda Jet. Yeah, that, that's a Honda Jet. They have like an extended version. Um, it's like an EX or something like that. EX. I don't know what it's called. But yeah, Honda Jet. I would definitely get that. But nah, like I've always wanted, I've always thought a Challenger was just a very good airplane. Like, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, you know, it's not like, you know, super, du I mean, it's expensive. Don't get me wrong, right? Like, but it's not $60 million and this and that and this, but I don't know what it is, but more than I've got. Uh, going back to this plane 11, I was flying myself for the first time today in my new joystick. I literally can't cope with the help AI. Uh, did you, did you, um... You could turn it off. I gotta. How did I do it? Uh, where is it? No. Controls, maybe? No. Assistance. Yes, assistance right here. Um, put this to. I have mine at custom, but there is a way. I know you can turn off ATC piloting. No. Navigation aircraft. No, hold no. on. Yeah, I don't have none of that. User experience. Eight, yeah, there it is. ATC voices. Yeah, turn that off. Um, you know, I, the arcadey feeling, I get that, right? Like, what if you if you are heavily invested in X-Plane and, like, the Tolis and all that stuff, I get it. Like, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but airplanes like the PNBG, um, the PNBG, the Phoenix, um... Those are phenomenal airplanes. Um, you you don't get that arcadey feel, right? Like you don't get that. Oh, let me just pull back with my pinky toe and whoosh, up it goes. You know, um, it's it, it's a good feel. Um, so I would say, look, if if you're hell bent on going back to X Plane Eleven, by all means, you know, don't let me stop you from flying. What you know, what makes your heart happy. But I will say, give it a fair shot. With a couple airplanes, um, you know, you could start with the any builds A310. It's free. Uh, you can fly that. Um, and if you want to buy something, right? Like, if you don't want to spend the the big bucks on the six or on the 800, buy the 737 600 uh, PNDG 737 600. I think it's 35 dollars. Um, you get all right. Like, just because it's half off the price of the normal one. You don't get half the quality or half the product. Um, it's just that that entry level airplane. Like, hey, here's our product. Check it out, right? Um, so you get you get everything you see in this airplane, um, and all the performance and all that stuff in the same airplane as the 600. That that would be my recommendation. Because I, I I will say, if you fly over somewhere that. Uh, you know, has a good visual approach or something, it's hard to go back. Like, but I'll show you a screenshot here in a couple minutes. Uh, what do you say? Vision J, yep. Have a buddy read that one. Alpine Air Express, their UPS contractor and light and smaller runs. Yeah, um, we have those here in Myrtle. They do FedEx, Mountain Air Cargo. They fly the ATR. Um, yeah, we have that same thing. Uh, how about, yeah, Honda Jet. What's up? Hey, what's going on, man? Salute to you. Happy, I think it's Friday where you are, right? Hopefully. Either Friday or Saturday. But uh, hopefully all is well. I have a buddy that has a VP, that is a VP at Gulfstream. Good guy to be friends with. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. If they, uh, hell yeah. Uh, what do you say? Uncle Jeff Rich. I'd have a 7.5. That would be way more better than Trump Force 1. Me too. I could, I could assure you that. DC, I got a couple screenshots of DC for you. Hold on. Um... You know, like, it's Pittsburgh. Uh, there's one. Here's one. That's Doha. Flying over Dubai. There's Dubai. Uh, Abu Dhabi, Charlotte. Flying over New York City. See, um, the, obviously Los Angeles, Charlotte in the background, couldn't even tell you, 
737700 uh, in JFK for a screenshot. There is where the uh, Burbank, LA in the background. Um, Ontario, yeah. Uh, JFK. My, uh, those are my, whatever you call them, my NVIDIA filters. Uh, JFK testing some updates. Couldn't tell ya. LA. Somewhere. Somewhere. Detroit. Uh, Bogota. Fort Lauderdale. Indy. Barcelona. Couldn't tell ya. Barcelona. Mm, there we go. Uh, Washington. Look at that. Yeah, it's just, you know, once you get used to the visuals, it's, in my opinion, it's just hard to go back. Yeah, Charlotte, I mean, Charlotte's a great, you get the thing tuned out right, it's like, oof, it's, it's, it's hard to go back, man. Hard to go back. All right, let's do some work here. Um, we're going off 2-5, okay, so we'll blast off of 2-5, who dare text me? Oh, uh, Nan, ooh, it's not even in here, what? Oh. Two five. It is the four uniform. This one Nanju. Four uniform. <laughs> the U transition. As files. Uh, we'll jump over to two zero. This is where it gets kind of fun. We'll slide over here. I'll take another gander at chat. Uh you try to get in the door at UPS pilot, they make bank and probably have the best flexibility. They do and they don't. Um, and another thing about car cargo opera operators right now, or they're not hiring. Actually, I think it is UPS. They're giving they're giving their pilots a hundred thousand dollars to go to PSA to fly the CRJ because they'd actually fly. Um, they just they just can't keep pilots like not for anything other than the demand. Like so, if you're a you know middle of the road junior pilot and lower, you're not flying. Um, so like literally there's a, there's a program you could leave UPS right now, um, get a hundred thousand dollars from UPS, get a guaranteed job at PSA and then be a, at American in, uh, 24 months. But if you stay, if you're one of those guys who were at UPS, you can go to the million dollar party or the millionaire party every year. So if you, if you made a million dollars, they throw a party for you and it's like invite only because if you didn't make a million dollars, you can't come. And it's not like, oh, it's just me and one other guy having dinner. Like, no. They're parties. Uh, so, yeah, if you can get in, it'd be cool. But as far as their schedule, they only fly... I don't want to say only. They do a predominant amount of their flying at night, right? So, like, yeah, you'll catch some day flights, so on and so forth. But a majority of your career is at night. Um, and if you're not doing those... You know, overnights, they have uh, two-week schedules where you basically go around the world. So you're gone two weeks, off two weeks, maybe 10 days, something, then you're back at it. Um, where me, I don't really want that as a pilot. Like, if I can build the seniority to do a Charlotte, Cancun, Charlotte in one day, or, you know, maybe a New York, Charlotte, Cancun, and overnight in Cancun, or San Juan, or... Hell, when I get to international, like Charlotte or Atlanta or wherever, New York to Barcelona, 28 hours, Barcelona, come home, make 15 grand. <laughs> I'm okay. Like, yeah, that's that's the life I want, personally. Um, that That's kind of where I want to end my day. Uh, here, sim brief. And we said it was, well, I said, runway 20. Oh boy. Uh, we're coming from the south, so that one ain't really gonna work. Weeks on. Uh, that schedule, weeks on 12 to 14 off. But you could do that as an airline pilot, so. Or as a, you know, passenger pilot. So basically, what you could do is make your schedule to where it's like three days on, two days off. Maybe a three-day, two-day, four-day trip if you really want to work. And then, bam, you got 12 days off. Like, 
you know, at, at Republic right now, the most you're guaranteed off 12 days a month. So like you might do, you know, three days on, four off, three on, two off, three on, that's what, five, three days on, three days off, that's eight, three days or whatever, four days, four days off. That's guaranteed 12. But if you are senior enough, you can maybe work, you know, a three trip day off, a three trip that's six and then be off the rest of the month. Um, like I know a friend, I, I have a couple friends who are, are at the majors and, you know, they'll go 20 days off, pick up a trip out of, uh, you know, premium time. So they're paying 200% of your salary. Um, you know, say as a first officer, you make $160 an hour times that, you know, double that. That's what, $320 an hour to go fly Miami, San Juan and back. Like, okay. And then you're off. So you, you literally were gone from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. made... I don't know, 320 times 6, 30, what, 3, hey Siri, what's 32 times 6? Uh, $1,800, $2,000 roughly, you know, for 6 hours of flying. I'm good, I'll take it. Um, anyways, back to, we'll, we'll do the Zulu, that looks kind of cool, uh, from GT533. Uh, RMP Zulu for two zero R and R and have no whoa hey whoa whoops sorry uh I got all got button happy uh, RMP Zulu GT five three three um is there a uh nope no arrival straight direct all right here we'll request the information uh, I think it should be a law that you have the same amount of days off you work and it's actually like four off four off that I wouldn't be too mad at it like um, I was actually talking to when I worked on the ramp I always used to talk to the triple seven guys um, you know those pilots and I was like you know especially the first officers because I always wanted to know why did you pass up you know seven three or an airbus captain to go be a triple seven first officer um you know knowing you're very very junior right like in the states you know most old old people old guys uh high seniority guys get get the the wide bodies um and they say it's because of of that exact reason like they they don't fly as much, but they make enough to where for them to go get paid $225 an hour flying to London, spend 28 hours in London and then come back, like for them to make, you know, anywhere from twelve dollars to $25,000 a month, they're like, yeah. He's like, and if you talk to captains, like the specifically the, the pilot I spoke to in Charlotte one day, because it blew my mind, like my jaw is probably still hanging over on. Uh, Delta 12, Gate D12 in Charlotte, because I, I never will forget it. He said the guy he's flying with right now, he ha said that he picked that trip up off of a premium call, right? Like they needed a pilot that bad. They were paying 300% of the pilot salary <clears throat> who flew it. And basically that his captain was making $900 an hour to fly from Charlotte to Barcelona. So 900 times eight one way, and then 900 times eight the other way he's like he's probably making ten thousand dollars eight nine thousand eight nine ten thousand dollars uh just to do that one trip and it was one he picked up like he got off his couch to go make ten thousand dollars i was like get, get out of here i was like go finish your walk around i got bags to run javi what's going on man on uh, a quick break from studying stage five check oh boy oh boy you got this I hope you have a great night. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, and you've, you've got this. We're looking forward to hearing from it. Uh, MROC, we're going off 2-5. There, there, done. Does Jim... Uh, Jim does three trips a month in the 7-8. See? So, one day there. You know, the day there. Overnight, fly back. Three. The nine days a month. Nine, 21 days off. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Oh my! Any, I'm, I'm sure, Mr. Jim is living just fine, just fine. Uh, we'll go flaps five again. Yeah, that's just absolutely amazing. And for me, like, honest to God, 
Like I, I, you know, once again, if I had a Bible, I'd put my hand on it. Um, I don't want to be a pilot only for the money. Like I want to be a pilot one, because it's my passion. Like I love it. I love aviation. I love pilot. I love airplanes. So I want to be a pilot Two, because of the opportunities it can provide for me and my family, right? Like if Skylar grows up and says, dad, I want to go to college. Like, I don't need to tell her like, all right, sweetheart, you can go to college, but you're going to have to, you know, before you even get jump started in life, you're going to have to sign your life away for a hundred grand. Um, or she said, dad, you know, I, I want to go and open up a bakery or whatever have you. Okay. Yeah, you could do that, but figure it out. Like I support you, go figure it out. You know, I want to be able to provide her the options of, okay, you want to go to college? Okay. That's cool. Where should we start applying to? Where should we, you know, where should we look? And I could either pay for it, pay a majority of it or help you whatever way. Um, you know, or if she's like, I want to open a business. Okay, let's open one, you know, bam, here's what you need. I can help you with that. Same with my, you know, obviously my other kids, um, you know, if, if they say, dad, I want to go to college I give you that opportunity. Um, and you're not dying in college loans forever. Uh, if you want to be a pilot, right? Like I, I plan to keep my CFI certificates valid for as long as I possibly can. So essentially that's free piloting. Like I'm not going to make my kids pay for the plane and pay me. No, I, I would do that. You know, I would, let's go flying, right? Like I'm not going to treat you as my child. You are my student at this point. Who the hell? Oh, hold on guys. It's my dad. Give me a second. There we go. Sorry, guys. My uh, that was my dad. <laughs> I, said, I did tell him. I said, "Dad, I'm on YouTube. My friends are saying hi." So my dad said hi. Uh, Vader is what we call him. Vader said hi. Um, and yeah, he because he like I you know I was telling him I had a flight tonight and uh, I forgot to tell him that it got canceled. So he's like, "How'd the flight go?" I was like, "Well, well we didn't go." Like, Why? 
they didn't let you fly? What are you suck? I said, no, Dad, it, you know, it, icing. It fell out the sky. Said, oh, okay. So they kept you on the ground because you suck. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was good old Vader for you. Go RTO. Max, what's up, man? Kelly! You made it home. How are you? Kelly Sima. How are you? How are you? How was the drive? Hi, Kennedy. Hopefully all is well. I bet you're glad to be out of that car. But yeah, Javi, amen, bro. Amen. That's, like I was saying before my dad called, that's why I want to be a pilot. Is, yes, I'll make money. Yes, I'll get to see the world. But the options it provides for um, my kids, right? And there's just going to be a day where I'm no longer roaming the earth, right? Like, Shaq is not going to wake up, take a sip from the cup of destruction, and roam the world. Um, and when I do have that day come... I want my kids to be well off. I, I genuinely wholeheartedly want that to happen. So, you know, like, I don't want them to drown me in the bathtub or chuck a toaster in the tub to go get, catch my money. Um, but when the day comes that uh, I'm not here, I also want them to know, you know, and, and obviously my, my uh, that, the warden, that when I'm not here, all is still maintained. So that's my reasoning. Uh, for being a pilot amongst the passion uh, Zulu there it is park break is... wheel chalks is off cool oh I bet a heck man from an airplane to the car ride I'm sure there was you know the LA traffic nah, I'm all right nope nope you're better than I if Skylar called me hey can you ride with me for that long no <laughs> no you better get you a friend Hell no! You better get you. Uh, you better ask them if they want to co somebody to come to where I'm living at the time. Look, you want to come spend a day with me in uh, my hometown? Cause Lord knows, Lord knows, I'm telling you no. I hate car rides with a passion. Cool. Man, for being down here in San Jose, there's more U.S. carrier. Well, there's only U.S. carriers. Like, well, there's one. Uh, but yeah, there's more carriers from the states than there is from this region of the world. Anyway, come down to uh, to Houston. Uh, your terminal at C is awesome. So when I was in Houston for uh, Expo, I was at the A terminal, and I was still impressed. I was like. Hmm. Okay, this is not a bad terminal. Um, so if you're saying terminal C is even better, I am uh, very curious. Very curious. Been there many times down to San Jose, really. In the simmer in real life or both. Cause nonetheless, that's that's awesome. Oh, we can uh, turn the beacon on. Good start number two, hopefully. Getting there, bam, there it is. Excuse me. So yeah, this should be a cool flight. Just about an hour. Whoops. I kind of, yeah, let's actually roll the time back. Because I want to land at this time. Like, I hate to break the immersion. But, uh... I want to land at the time it just was. Instead of at night. Like, I'm sure night is cool, but... Um, Guatemala is right in the mountains, so having the mount the sunset in the mountains with the city lights, I think that's a winner. I think that's a winner. Oh, hold on, guys. I got to turn this here camera off for a minute. Got something coming my way. What you got? That's not my chair. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Hot. Do I have a Discord? I do. Um, hold on. Hold on. Oops. Uh, I can't promise you the link that, like, Nightbot will give you is alive and good. But there it is. Darshi B. Well, flaps five. There it goes. Uh, in your backyard. Air that, oh, you're so lucky. I, like, I do genuinely... That's one thing I miss about Charlotte amongst, you know, myriads of other things. Um, is to have, you know, big planes or a lot of airplanes 
in and out all the time. Because um, Myrtle Beach, it's like, eh, it's cool. Um, but it's not, it's not Charlotte or Houston cool, you know. Um, cool, so they're, they're gone. Uh, we'll go here. We got flaps are at five. We'll put those to continuous. And lastly, we'll go legs. And return, return, menu. Sp hey, hey. Speeds come over this way. Cool. After we request the winds, park brake off. What? Huh? Why? Is it bad? Probably not. I mean, leave mine here. I'll take another bite of it. It's off. But, no, that's uh, it's a little something. Yeah, sorry. Uh, what's the biggest plane we get at Myrtle? Um, Passenger-wise, 321. Uh, Spirit sends some 321s down here. Um, but overall is the C-17 and... Um, that KC-130, whatever the 707 uh, refueler is, right? That. Send me a DM. Remind me as soon as we get off the ground. So that way we can we can get up out of here and we'll take a gander in the air. Uh, Houston as a city is a great place to live now. As we get more people, we're probably going to turn into L.A. No offense, Kelly <laughs> Sipper. Nah, I, I continuously hear Houston... Is a very you know up what what's the word um, growing city right like there's there's something about Houston that is just, it's you know it's on the rise so that's not bad I should have looked at the charts because I I don't necessarily know if we're supposed to back taxi on the runway or go over there probably go over there but we'll just do this. We've committed. Yeah, three, two, they're not bad. You know, like, um, it's cool to see them. Uh, we get a Breeze A220. They come here now. Um, it's kind of cool to see those. Um, but, yeah, it's, you know, it's not not like uh, like a Charlotte or anything. Housing is cheap. Ah, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Uh, a lot of work opportunities. Okay, okay. And, I mean, the weather. Well, no, 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 the weather ain't. It's, it's sunny. Nice. Yes, very sunny, nice. Um, but when I went there for Expo, I don't think I've ever sweated that much in my life, truthfully. Like, without, you know, without doing something of, you know, playing football or bas like a basketball game or something. Like, at Expo, I literally would just sit, th sit and walk, or I shouldn't say sit and walk. I would, you know, I would just be doing nothing, and I'd be drenched in sweat, like... Like, I get it. I'm a bigger person. You know, all that good stuff. But, new. New. <laughs> Nine in the morning, it was like 96 degrees outside. I was like, hell no. Like, you walk, you open the hotel door, and you just feel it. Like, you feel this this heat just mm, smack you in the head. Like, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. And it was dry. Like, maybe when I was there. But, like, in Charlotte, it was humid. Like, it was hot, but it was humid. So, like, I could, I could tolerate it. Or I, maybe I just became accustomed to it. But whatever the heck it is y'all got over in, in Houston, I don't know, man. That's a different kind of heat. All right, you guys ready? Toga. Uh, I lay with my daughter. I left the house 6 a.m. Got home about 20 minutes ago. Oof. Yeah, that was, that's rough. It sure is.
Why are they landing on the departing runway? Good old FSLTL, I tell you. Here, we'll make sure the autopilot's on. There it is. And we'll go flaps to one. We'll take a gander outside. Outside. There we go. And we'll get some tunes going back. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool angle. Wasn't planned. United. Enjoy. Cool. Then we'll go flaps up. Put these to the off position. Cool. Uh, I remember this one day when I was a kid, I'd walk outside and breathe. It was hot. Yeah! Like, that's what it felt like, bro. Like, so you get used to it? I don't know. I mean, yeah, you're, you're, you're right. You get used to it. But that's like punishment. That's like cruel and unusual punishment. I want you to get used to just sitting here living in a, in a melting pot. <laughs> that, was, that was rough. Uh, 30, what are we going up to? 36 again. I hope. Hopefully I change that. 38? Let me double check. 36. So, cruise. 360. In there. Three six zero is set. Do this a little early. There we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, you know, like I said, Charlotte was hot. Um, I've not, I've been down here in, uh, as a vacationer, right? Like, I've, I visited Myrtle Beach in the summer. It's, it's hot. But um, nothing like there, there is nothing I've ever experienced in my life. Punta Cana, Cancun, you name it. Um, going to the islands on cruises, nothing I've ever experienced in all of my days as hot as is uh, what I went through that weekend in Houston. I was like, I don't know who hated me, but hell. Mm -mm. Yeah, nah. I don't blame you, Warden. You know, Aspen. I don't know what that was. Blood thins out. What? Yeah, uh, what do you say? Does everybody really even give out aviation scholarships? Uh, uh, yes, they do. Um, you can also, there is this guy, uh, Aviation Careers Podcast. Um, this website, uh, it's a podcast, Aviation Careers Podcast. Um, oh, shoot, what is his name? Um, I used to listen to it all the time. Uh, Carl Valeri is his name. Carl Valeri, he's a jet blue pilot. Um, he has a book right here, the Pay It Forward. This one, the Aviation Scholarship Guide. They give out like $50 million a year in scholarships. Um, you buy it for like 10 bucks. You can buy a paper copy, which I don't know why the hell you would. Um, or you could buy the online copy and you just, you know, file, you know, write an essay here, write an essay there. 
um, saying, hey, well, I fit this scholarship for XYZ. Um, there. So there's the website. Check it out. I actually won one scholarship in my life from OBAP. So actually, if, if you are in real world, obviously, you don't have to be. You, you definitely don't have to be, but if you are a person of color or a, of minority, uh, consider joining OBAP, the Aviation, uh, the Organization for Black Pilots and Aerospace Professionals. Uh, I think for a year membership, it's like 60 bucks. Um, but if you're a student pilot, you get three months free. So I would recommend joining during application season, crank out a whole bunch of applications. Um, I actually won 700 bucks. Uh, through one um, so I did mine and I, I want a $700 uh, gifts or, or scholarship uh, for flight training Space Ghost what's up my guy how are you salute to you happy Friday oh let me let the dog out she's probably got a shit of brick because she just ate this stuff here you go buddy but yeah check out that um, you know AOPA uh, is another great organization um, I'm going to assume you're a young man, um, but if you're a woman, check out Women in Aviation, um, all that stuff, you know, check it out. But that website I sent you, buy the book, it's 10 bucks. Uh, that's a great start. Great, great start. Uh, would you get down the George F. Brown Center area or even, uh, for our traffic jam? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Charlotte traffic sucks. Um. But I, I've never been stuck in traffic in Charlotte for four hours. Oh, thank you, the DM. Thank you. See, that's why you had to remind me. Cool. Um, Josh, yeah, absolutely. As soon as I get done with this stream, I will do that. Um, and I will give you the honest, you know, the honest, you know, normal person way of, of getting your ratings. Um, I won't give you the, oh, you must sell your left nut way of, you know, following the, the passion. But I, I got you, bro. I, I, I will 100% do that. Um, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'd have done. If chat GPT was around, <laughs> I'd have done it. <laughs> but then they're probably like, yeah, right. This dude is not this smart. No, you're right. I am not. <laughs> I, I am not. You said you're desensitized to traffic. <sighs> wow. Is this, this? Yeah, this is the uh, this is the last flight we've got. Oh, I didn't even put it in here. Hold on. There we go. Got about 50 minutes or so left. Yeah, it should be about another 50 minutes. Uh, I'll probably sell them both to the highest bidder. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. They're well preserved. They're in a pickle jar in the fridge. Uh, so for the pilot on my flight, he broke out the speed brakes from top of descent until we were at like 5,000. It seemed like I was doing dang plays. <laughs> Typical Boeing. Oh man, that's crazy. Like, I wonder. I wonder why. Like, obviously. I understand the theory, probably just like you do, but I wonder what was going on in the flight deck. Like, why? Like, I don't know. Like, I could tell you why I would do it in the sim or, you know, well, my airplane don't have speed brakes, but, you know, I could tell you why I would hit this rate of descent versus that one, so on and so forth. But I wonder why in, like, a Southwest, in, in an airline environment. Very curious. Did it really? Well, Bob Saget. Yeah, if, if I ever have to write another scholarship, trust and believe. Wow. Did you ever level off? Or was it just continuous? Like, were you just con like a, a CDA, continuous descent angle? Or did it ever, like, level off? Eh. Huh. Maybe that's why. Like, maybe he's like, look, this is my 15,000th time doing this route. And I know if I keep the speed brakes at this amount 
right? Like this amount and I have this speed will never level off. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it could be separation, you know, maybe keep your speed up, but to not blow through like, you know, another speed restriction. I don't know. Like, I would just like to know, right? Like, I would just like to sit there in the cockpit and just ask like, hey, why? Like, it's not that I don't trust you or I think you're doing something unsafe or whatever, you know, the whole nine, but why? Like, what's going through your head right now? Like, curious. There we go. Top of climb. Let's see how long we've got in cruise. Ooh, we got a little bit. Okay. That's not bad. So probably, what, 100 miles or so? I'll take it. Because that's like a balancing act too, like, right? Like, even if you do have your speed brakes out, like, it's like at what point is it? All right, you're just blowing through gas. Like, you're using gas to maybe not get so low on the speed bracket, but you're also not going fast, like, to overspeed anything. I don't know. Like, I'm very, very curious. Like, or maybe I'm just dead wrong. I have no idea. I finally put them around like 5,000, probably four. And at one point, I'm looking at those mountains so close, I'm thinking, I know he's a 25 foot call out. <laughs> 2,500. Probably. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, but that's, that's the curi like, that's where the curiosity gears have turned. Like, hmm, why? Like, what, what trick of the trade do you know that I don't? Obviously, you know, these pilots have probably forgotten more than I know, um, but I'm curious. Very, very curious. Going to Miami, they, the pilots dropped the flaps at 5,000 at 5, feet. Eh, it sounds... Because, well, let's see, when I went to Punta Cana, that saw seemed about right. Like, just a, you know, rough guesstimation of, like, when Flaps 1 came out. Because I was in an Airbus. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we were... It's not like Flaps, bam, landing, like flaps and we we went a little bit um yeah that's probably a fairly good estimation yeah there should be a cop yeah exactly like obviously you know in critical phases of flight right turn off the volume like just show me this right like show me the movements or especially like the yoke controls like i would love to watch that like I get the safety of flight and sensible, you know, sensing sensitive information. I understand that, but you know, I would love to see what actually goes on up there without me being a pilot, right? Like, because then it's like I'm not seeing what's up there. I am up there. Um, just, just curious. Like, I would love to know. Uh, yep. And I was funny. I actually booked this particular flight because it wasn't supposed to be a back. Nope. Switcheroo. Oh, they got gotcha. you. They said, "Huh." Gotcha. Only thing I could get. Nate, what's up, Brody? Uh, think of is it had engine anti ice on, which bumps up power, or ATC just decided to slam. Oh, ah, yeah. Hit him with that little slam dunk. So, or, uh, yeah, SoCal said, all right, here comes the U. Off the backboard. Bam. And then here comes NorCal. Blow! <laughs> Ready? Like, that's probably what it was. Probably done. Harlem Globetrotters on their ass. That would be cool. But then you'd have to trust that, you know, the guy who, guy or girl who's back behind you isn't some nut job. Needed, oh, really? So, didn't that happen to you last time? It was like, you sit up here, you sit back there, like, yeah, you look pretty, th pretty thick, mister. Sit in the middle. <laughs> Did, uh, did they use a tail stand? If you know what that is, like, um, cause in Charlotte, every Southwest flight had a tail stand. So basically, um, like American would use one very rarely. Um, right. I think it's right there. Yeah. Maybe that's the skid protector. Um, 
No, it's right there. Yeah. You'd stick a pole really right there, and it would essentially, you know, be a, a pole from the... And it would protect the airplane from tipping back. But I know Southwest... Like, Southwest is a big, 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 uh, you know, advocate of tail stands. Um, so I, was, I wonder if they did it in... In, uh... In LA. I'll look to see if I have enough switches. Oh! Let me take a look. Sight. What? Dang, dude. If you do that, nah, I would... Forever grateful. Truly. Forever grateful. Um... That's awesome. <laughs> that would be dope. Oh my goodness. I could I could see it now. Boop. Boop. I hate the guys that don't know how to maintain uh, brake pressure. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, yeah, we're here. Hello, yep, yep. Thank you. We have landed. Yep, yeah, Houston Eagle has landed. Uh, what do you say? Yep, and of course he came in hot four versus slammed on those brakes. He was going to make that first high. Oh God. Yeah, like. You're sitting there, it's like, okay, I feel the reverse kicking in. It's like, yep, I feel it. And then all of a sudden, you just feel these brakes just... Whoosh. It's like, oh, welcome. <laughs> and then you hear those lovely little flight attendants. On behalf of American Airlines, we'd like to be the first ones to welcome you to Punta Cana, where your local time is 10.22. I'm like, oh, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Oh, it's like I'm concussed. Also hires right out of the Navy. Pretty much. Like you see them pilots, they just wow oh yeah, they do them navy them carrier landings. Use brake they use a joystick. I'm telling you! Like brake. <laughs> Forgot to tell look. Yeah, for real. It's like oh dude, like was that like you you do understand these brakes are powerful. Like or more importantly, like, you do understand, like, I don't have that same, you know, over-the-shoulder harness where I'm not doing, you know, you're you're stuck. Like, you're, you might move like that. Like, your neck probably move more than, more than that. Your double chin f does a little more than what I do. Like, my whole body go, wham! And if you're in, like, spirit or something, like, you've just crunched your knees. Uh, you just bopped your head off that super hard tray table thing. Yeah, nah. Like, Spirit Frontier, all the ones with the tight seats. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. Uh, don't Air Force guys have uh, to go back and get their civilian? They do, yep. Um, military, yeah, all the military pilots. Like, there is, and I could be wrong, don't quote me on it, um, but there's, there's a rating conversion. It's like every sortie that a military pilot does is 0.3 hours i think it's like 0.3 hours of civilian time so if you do you know like a point a point of an hour is six minutes um so for one mission you do you get six minutes of a flight time so you might leave the military with you know say 300 hours um but and then you would have to do i think it's i don't think you have to go get your ratings you might have to convert them. Like, there might be some test or, uh, you know, a knowledge base thing you may have to pass, right? Because it's like, I don't, it's not that I don't trust the D, the F-16 or the F-35 pilot to fly a 737, 
but at the same time, like, we're not pulling seven Gs here. You know, like, we're not doing, you know, vertical takeoffs uh, to avoid a rocket at the end of the runway. So I'm sure there's some th something in there where they'll have to convert their mili military aeronautical knowledge to civilian. Uh, but I also know that you can convert your sortie mission hours over to civilian hours. Because um, there's actually a guy at Lyft who was a helicopter pilot um, in the army. I think it was Blackhawk. Sounds about right. Blackhawk. Maybe the little bird. Either way. Um, he has his instrument, commercial, and all that stuff. Um, he literally only came here for CFI, double I, and obviously finish out his hours. But I think he has like 600 hours. Um, so how do you get Microsoft set up? Um, I flew next when I stopped over since now I'm back to flight sim. So like when you mean set up, like at the main men, like to get in and actually do a flight setup, or like what what do you mean in terms of setup? Like how do you get airplane? You know, sceneries downloaded is kind of what you're saying can't find a good video to help me get like actually no help oh oh okay um no ai assistance so go to this assistance option and then um just take a screenshot of this so the only one you'll probably want to keep on is icing right i mean you can turn it off if you truly don't want to ever deal with icing um but go so when you get into the game or even at the main menu, go to options, assistance options, and then just use this. Um, uh, user experience. Uh, nope. So that's the only. Th you know, this is how I do it. So I have no. You know, I have no assistance. Um, I don't have like you know, turn on the crap outside. You don't see all the little control things. I don't use ATC. Uh, In-game ATC. I do sometimes, like sometimes I'll have it here standing by because there's some airports that the the gates don't connect through GSX. So I'll just go into here and toggle like, you know, talk to ground services and connect the jet jetway that way. Um, but other than that, that's that's what I those are the settings I have. And I from everything you're saying, I, I have none of that. Uh, I'll switch so hard to get uh, get in the seat in front of me. <laughs> just to just hold stay. Oh boy. So here's a question, right? For everybody who that that has flown, um, what is the best flight? It could be service wise. It could be um, airplane. Like you flew on an airplane that just tickled your fancy. But what was the best flight you've ever been on? What was the best flight you've ever been on? Uh, is the Microsoft ATC better than X planes? E better than X plane eleven? Yes. Um, better than X plane twelve? I don't know. I never flew X plane twelve, so I, I can't say yes or no. Um, it is good. It is good. Um, it's not great by any means. 
but it's good. Like if, if you want to tr- kind of learn the bare bones basics of air traffic control, Microsoft is a good starting point. It, like I said, it's not great. Um, it's not like, oh my God, this is game changing, but it's not bad. Um, there is things coming out for Microsoft Flight Simulator called Beyond ATC. Um, there's a couple other AI generated air traffic control things you can use that are better, obviously, than default. Um, some of them, I believe, I think all of them, you have to pay, you know, from a little bit to a lot of bit. Um, but if, if you really just want to get ATC, I, I truly, truly recommend getting an Avatsim. Like, I, I understand, like, before he's like, oh, it's hard. No, I, I get that. Um, but Vatsim has the Wings program that it'll basically teach you everything from VFR to IFR to commercial uh, slash like ATP. So flying in the Cessna, flying in the, you know, instrument weather conditions, right? Or uh, meteorolo- instru- instrument meteorolo- meteorological, I can't say it, flying in the suit. <laughs> oh yeah, that sim. Yeah, tr- um, but yeah. To answer your question, on a, on a scale of one to ten, I'd give it like a six or seven. Um, Cathay Pacific, Vancouver to Hong Kong, three hundred yard makes a grown man cry. Really? Okay, you'll have to elaborate on that if you if you so choose. Why? Might have to make a new VATSIM account. Don't do that. Um, don't do that because V one. Uh, or not, yeah, V1 simulations got banned because he did that. Um, just go and create it, or not create, but go and just either forgot password uh, on VatSim's website is definitely a way to get in contact with them. But if you create a new account, basically if you have two accounts under the same IP address, they get banned. And it's a life, life ban account. Like, you, you can't unban it. You have to get a new IP address. Uh, so don't do that. In terms of airlines, Delta uh, A220 uh, to Chicago from or from Chicago to Salt Lake, but hanging out in the PJs is like, oh yeah, yeah, that I could imagine is hard to beat. Never been in one. Hopefully one day. Wouldn't lose, wouldn't lose no sleep if I never got to, but it would be damn cool. Um, hmm, what was mine? What was mine? Philadelphia to Pittsburgh on a 7.5 because it was the last one I've ever been on. Um, and it was in a U.S. Airways livery. Uh, it was just before all the uh, 7.5s got painted to American. Uh, I was going home or going back to college. Leave, you know, I was coming from home to college. Uh, Philadelphia to Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh was the airport you fly in to go to Morgantown, West Virginia. Uh, that was... There wasn't really anything good about it. <laughs> um, like, it's not like, oh, they served me caviar. No. I did get to go in the cockpit. The lady, uh, it was the captain, she actually was like, oh, you like airplanes? I said, I love airplanes. She said, well, you could board with me. So I got to go in like 20 minutes early, uh, be in the cockpit, all that stuff. Wonderful lady. Uh, her name was actually Susan. I remember it because she let me go in the flight deck of a triple, or of a 7-5. And like I said, it was the last U.S. Airways airplane I've ever been on. So my favorite airplane on my favorite airline, uh, 7.5 U.S. Airways. That was my favorite flight. Uh, I say the service, the views, seeing the wing flex. Ooh, yeah. Along with the G90s, Mount Fuji. Uh, the flight was back in 08. The nostalgia. Uh, that me makes me want to cry as a girl. <laughs> I bet. Like, especially because, you know, Cathay is not one of the airlines that is like, oh, they're just an average, you know, international carrier like they're up there like you know they are they're up there with you know the best of them so yeah you know you lucked out big time like i don't have money for the phoenix or pmdg um <laughs> oh i didn't mention the food 10 out of 10 i've heard that um trek trendy and what's his name jeb brooks all say that cathay has world-class food <laughs> um but I can buy Microsoft fully right now since I have it. I'm testing it from Game Pass. So if you don't have it, you'll want to download the fly-by-wire. If you buy it, you'll want to download the fly-by-wire. Um, that takes the default 
A320 Neo and it turns it into a payware quality or it, it's the Zebo consider it's the Zebo of uh, Microsoft right um, if you buy the top of the line Microsoft um, then you'll get the 787-10 but with that there is the 787-8 mod and the 9 mod um, and they're both pretty good so you'll get the 8, 9, and 10. Um, there's a bunch of GA airplanes. It, like, it may not be your thing, but flying GA in Microsoft, it's up there. Uh, there's a lot of good free GA airplanes um, that are really, really good. Um, but definitely, and there's the A310. So, I mean, it's it's one of those, like, you're either going to love the plane or you're going to hate the plane. Um, but it's free. It's a pay where, you know, an X plane, you had to buy it. But now you get it for free in, in Microsoft. Um, and then the next time you get a couple bucks, you know, you could buy the, uh, you could buy the, uh, 320 or the three or the 737. You don't like the Dreamliners? Like, do you not like the default ones? Cause with the mods, they're way better. Like, it's not like, oh, you just get default, you know, airplanes, um, like you get the like with the what is it the Kuro and the heavy div no whatever it is headwind the headwind mod um, you you get a lot more that you don't get in the the default 787s uh, buying is buying scenery necessary in Microsoft mm, depends how you look at it um, I would say for certain airports yes. Um, for a lot of them, no, because you can go on flightsim.to, uh, flightsim.to, and, you know, like, like here's, you know, like, look at this, uh, Reno airport. So, I mean, if that's good enough for you, it's free, just download it. Um... There's, you know, there's a bunch of them. Oh, well, it's another one. Okay, uh, uh, LaGuardia has a good one, I think. Nope, that's static airplanes. Uh, there's a, f no, it's Newark, sorry. Uh, nope, that ain't it. There is this one. Yeah. So, I mean, if you think this is, you know, good enough, then there is, you know, there's Newark. Um, let me make sure. Cool. Um, one of the there, a lot of the great free airplane airports are in Europe. Uh, Manchester. Where is it? There is a man. No, it's Gatwick. Sorry, uh, Gatwick. You know, um, insides model and all that. So I don't say it's a necessity to buy sceneries, but there are some sceneries where it's like there's there's not one available for free, and the default one sucks. Uh, I start flying GA2. Wow. Uh, yeah, you see a ton. <laughs> Scen yeah, like it depends. Like for me, if like there's default ones like Aspen, Colorado. Um, if, well, it's actually really good. Uh, you know, there's good ones like that, but there's also horrible default sceneries like Bar Harbor. Um, what was it? Nashville, Dallas, Fort Worth isn't the greatest. It's not awful. It's not great. Um, that are just like, huh, I wish there was better. Um, but yeah. Is Flight Sim like the X-Plane store? No, it's more... It's not a, like, you could buy stuff off of it, yes. Oh, hold on. Um, where is it? Huh? Um,
darn it. Sorry. Sorry. Um, what did I just say? Oh, so yeah, flightsim.to. Um, depending on where, like, so you can get liveries, sceneries, um, the others is, you know, exactly what it is. So you're just going, you might find something. Cockpit additions, uh, custom views, bush trips. Um, there, hopefully that's better. Yeah. Um, that you can go and just fly. But there thanks um well yeah you just have to kind of skim through it see what it is you like um i was only like nine or ten years old back like northwest airlines probably 1993 from i have no idea where <laughs> to Minis minneapolis to phoenix uh then reverse order on the way back in order md ooh, dog seven five in return was a dc 10 what it's 727 it was a long time ago that's that's absolutely amazing so uh, did they have the bowling shoe? I think they would have had the red livery, right? The bowling shoe livery. Um, po oh, you even got a power back? I wasn't that. I was never that lucky. Um, I'd have loved to be on a power back. But yeah, like here's the fly-by wire, so you know you can get all these liveries. Uh, uh, the Arac. So for the Arac, um, I, I don't know. And the only reason why is because I have Navigraph, so I just click a button and it does all that stuff for you. But what you could do is um, find where the ARAC, the ARAC is within the airplane. So if you go to PMDG and you find out where that ARAC is, you could definitely just drag and drop it. Um, but I don't know where that is, right? Like... I can't be like, oh, go here, click this, drag and drop here, copy and paste, or override or whatever. Because I just pay for it and it does it for me. Um, like, that's about the best answer. Unfortunately, fortunately, I, I, sorry, unfortunately that I can give you is there's a way. I don't know where the, the file directory is, though. But um, What other airplanes are there? There's the A330neo. That is actually pretty good. Um, what is it? Headwind flight sim .to. Um, A330 Neo. So, yeah, you can get the 330 Neo. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Like, you know, I normally go through here for sceneries. Like, been doing a lot of GA flying uh, like like I, um, like I said I know you said you weren't a fan per se of GA but th this will I guarantee you will change your mind um, e, what else livery sceneries add-ons what's new so yeah you'll just have to you know kind of sift through it see what it is that you know, tickles your fancy and um, you, know, you go from there, but quite frankly, like, uh, let's see, send you a link to send you a link to the photo of the livery. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Here it is. Yep, that's the bowling shoe right here. The Northwest bowling shoe, baby. Oh, yes, one of the best liveries of all time, I tell you. One of the best liveries. But yeah, um, I'll just say it this way. Like, there, there's nothing wrong with X-Plane if you're an X-Plane fan. If, if that's what you enjoy, if that's what you have invested a lot of money in, if that's what, you know, brings you joy in simming, don't change. Like, there, there's no reason to. Um, but if, uh, what do you say? So should I buy the stand version of myself and build my fleet from there? Also, what plugins do I need? You don't need any plugins. Um, I literally, the only thing I have plugin wise is NVIDIA filters, which if you press Alt and F3, you can have them. So, you know, if I turn mine off, right, it looks like this. So I just enhanced some of the, the visuals because Microsoft, in my opinion, is really washed out. So I just enhance it a little bit. Um, but that's something you can do for every game. You don't need an add-on. Um, other than that, if you'd fly for like Virtua Airlines or 
use Volanta or Sim Toolkit Pro or anything like that, you'll want an app called uh, FSUIPC, and that's kind of like uh, how the, the simulator talks to the apps. Like it's that little bridge between, and you can get the information. Um, I heard you need GSX. No, you don't. Then it's it's a visual mod. You know, it provides you a pushback, but there is a free pushback. Um, like, oops, I think it's pushback to something. Pushback toolbar pushback. I think it is maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. So that's, you know, same thing as what you almost, yeah, in X-Plane. No, you don't need GSX. Like, if you want to have, um, what is it? What is it called? Uh, like baggage loading, you know, visual effects of baggage loading. Um, De-icing, that's, that's what it does. You can see the passenger's board, so on and so forth. But no, you don't, you don't need GSX. No. Because if you use that toolbar pushback, I believe it is. I haven't used it in a long time, so I don't know what it's been updated to. Um, but yeah, when I used it, you can connect the jet bridges um, and have all the stuff work through that app. And same right here in the ATC. So if you go to ATC, uh, when you're on the ground, say at you know Phoenix, it'll say ground services and then it will allow you to use the in-game one. So a belt loader, uh, catering truck, the jet bridge, the pushback. So you can use the in-game ones as well. Um, GSX is just a more refined, you know, you pay for what you get product. Like you bought it, you paid for it, so you get better, better than the default. I was wondering what would happen if United or American would have merged with Northwest instead of Delta. And I don't think Delta would be around. Truthfully, I don't. Um, can you do all this, uh, Microsoft? Uh, Microsoft Xbox says Steam? No. Um, FlightSim.to is only for computer. Um, basically, if you want to get the full experience of Microsoft X or Microsoft Flight Simulator, you got to get it on a computer. Um, there are great things about Microsoft on an Xbox, but keep in mind that a computer is a computer. Right, and it's powerful as all sin, um, and it can just simply do things that an Xbox can't. Um, but if if you're saying like buying it off of the Xbox Store, you could do it either or. Like you could buy Xbox Store, um, you could buy it on Steam, you could buy it from the Microsoft Store. I don't know if that's the same, like Microsoft and Xbox Store, because um, I bought mine off of the Microsoft Store, the App Store. Uh, James, what's up, my guy? Salute to you. How are you? Oh, let me turn my camera back on. I can't believe I muted myself, too. James, how you living on this wonderful Friday evening? Oh, the Xbox store. Um, yeah, you could do it. Yeah, you don't need... You don't... It, where are you... The, the, from what I know... The difference in where you buy it doesn't really necessarily make a difference. It's just where your community folder is to install the sceneries and stuff like that. Um, like, right, like if you buy it through Steam, you got to go find the community folder in this part of your computer. If you buy it from the Microsoft Store, you find it in this part of the, of the computer where it's stored. Um, but there's links for that. Like you can Google, you know, where's my community folder? And it'll say, if you bought it on Steam, this is a directory. If you bought it on the Microsoft Store, this is the directory. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I don't think there's really any other difference. Um, at least not that I've seen. Like, I don't really buy... Well, I've never bought a, a simulator on, you know, Microsoft or X-Plane on Steam. Um, I don't even think you buy X-Plane on Steam. I just bought mine right through the, the person, like... Microsoft Store, or you know, right off Laminar. <laughs> Dang, we were the water, man, barely. But we were okay. What does our? 
did our flight path look like? Oh, okay. So we just cut this little little area right here. Okay. Uh, did you see where the updated version of Love Cards was released tomorrow? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I gotta get some Southwest flying in. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Southwest. When is their next uh, flying event? Uh, what's today? The 20 what? Second? 20. Oh, they had one today. Darn it. Oh, they got one tomorrow. Yes. When is it? Probably as soon as I have a flight. Uh, eight. Uh, what time is that? 2 p.m. Central Time. Yep. Got a flight. <laughs> yep. Won't be doing that one. Uh, darn it. But that's okay. Yeah, they had one today. Uh, the Sky High Fiesta. But then they got one tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central, which is what, 3 my time? Yeah, I'll be in, the th be in my flight. Darn, I would have definitely done that. Uh, LA to, to Oakland, Oakland to San Diego. Yeah, I'd have done it. Uh, and if you only buy the standard, can you pay the upgrade fee later on? No. You actually have to buy the whole entire simulator. Um, again. So, if you're gonna buy, if you're gonna buy one, buy the one you want to keep for good. Or at least until Flight Sim 2024 comes out. So, the good thing is, Flight Sim 2024 is gonna come out, hopefully in a couple months. So, if you want to buy the standard one now, you've only invested 50 bucks in the sim. So, if you hate it, okay. You know, maybe, you know, $50 isn't a deal breaker. But if you've invested $100, it's like, oh, shoot. Now I kind of feel like I have to force myself to like it, even if you don't. So far, so good. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Hey, Steven, what's up, my guy? Uh, hopefully all is well on this lovely Friday evening. Flying is, flying is going. Uh, I was supposed to have a cross country. I was going to fly from Myrtle Beach back home to Charlotte tonight. Uh, but there was some crappy weather that actually never, never came to fruition. Um, like they were saying, oh, it's going to thunderstorm and stuff here in Myrtle, and it never did. Um, but the good thing is that we didn't go is because the whole East Coast is getting, well, the Southeast is getting peppered with freezing conditions. So at 4,000 feet uh, was freezing temperatures, which is like extremely low. Um, and at 3,000, so we were like, oh, we'll fly at 3,000. Well, the temperatures were 8 degrees, so, like, fly through a, crowd, uh, through a cloud at, by mistake or something, like, you're going to freeze up. Um, they're releasing a new one? Yeah. yeah. Look up Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Uh, you can watch the trailer. Uh, but it's, you know, it, it could be in two months. It could be in six months. Nobody knows. Um, but the good thing is... If you buy products for 2020, they will work in just like x -Plane. You know, I, to the best of my knowledge, a lot of it is just poured over. Um, you won't have to, like, buy it. I know the Phoenix. If you ever buy the Phoenix, uh, if I remember right, they said it won't charge you for the upgrade. Ghost Rider, what's up, my guy? How are you? Uh, I'm doing well. Hopefully, uh, the same for you. Any good plans uh, this weekend, tonight, this weekend? Hopefully, hopefully. Oh. We have our top of drop coming up. The actual, you did the actual flight today, lucky. Well, true. Well, I mean, it was nice to do it. The uh, the drive home kind of probably kind of sucked. Um, am I instrument rated yet? No, I was supposed to, but um, supposed to be done with my course, my instrument rating, like now. But they kind of screwed up with the hours, so I have to build a couple more hours to be uh, eligible for the, the check ride. So hopefully with the, by the uh, by a month. Like I know I said, oh, within a month I should have it, but this one's not my fault. <laughs> this ain't my fault. Uh, they they screwed up some hours uh, with a bunch of students, not just me, and take me about two weeks or so to f get the last bit of cross country time that I need. And then take my end of course exams, uh, so an oral and a flight, and then I just wait for the a DPE to take my check ride. Uh, we're going to 33, so it's 8,500. But yeah, not yet. But I'm 
uh, last I looked on, like on the little app thing that we use for like scheduling and our courses, I was like 96%, 94% or something like that um, done with my instrument rating. Uh, I had a nasty, ooh, that's not good. Well, I hope that it's just one of those, you know, little 24 hour bugs. And yeah. Um, and hopefully, you know, tomorrow or something, it'll be, uh, yeah. The emoji was you. Oh, I've been there, done that. Got that t-shirt, boss man. Is my, my CFI is great. Um, you know, not that I've not had a bad one, but yeah, my, my CFI, his name's Ben, uh, world class, like wonderful guy, knowledgeable, um, creates a great environment like to, to train in. Um, you know, like some people's demeanor is just not like not there. Some people like, you know, some, some people, and it's not just instructors, but they might know the knowledge of something, you know, medical, physics, whatever, but they can't teach it. Um, where my instructor is, he knows his stuff. He can teach it. Um, yeah, it's great. Like I have, a, I lucked out with this instructor. I'm looking to relearn the Airbus 319s. I never did. Uh, never master flying. Know anywhere I can practice and practice? Yeah, do um, 30 minute flights. So like Philadelphia to Washington, D.C. Um, you know, you could do, uh, f you know, Fort Lauderdale to Miami. Or not Miami, sorry, to Orlando, Phoenix to LA, or no, Vegas to LA and back. Those are 45 minutes. Vegas or LA up to San Francisco. Those quick little flights to where you're not just doing one thing. Oh, I need to practice landings. Well, you got to turn the airplane on, take off, and fly it to land. Um, so doing those little flights back and forth um, is great practice because you get to learn the whole process. So finding, you know, Chicago to Detroit, great one. Um, Charlotte to Atlanta, um, you know, like Wilmington to Charleston, uh, Tampa to Fort Lauderdale, flights that are like that, Houston to New Orleans, things like that. I mean, a study could, uh, oh, things like that. Um, yeah, there's tons. Let's see. Checklist. Flightsim.to, my friend. Flightsim.to has got some checklists for you. Um, quite honestly, joining a virtual airline. Drew, my guy. Salute to you, big boss. How are you? Hopefully all is well, sir. Uh, what is the checklist? There you are. Where are you? They do have checklist here. Collections. No. Others. Checklist. That is a 320. So you can go to right here. You know, right? That's in Italian, unless you know how to read it. It's probably not for you. But you can go to any one of these, grab you a checklist. Some are, you know, airline specific, um, such as, you know, LATAM, SAS, TAM. So they're all going to get you from A to B. One's just going to do it how this airline does it here. If you're in the States, perfect. Here is a United checklist. There you be. Oh, there you go. Uh, I used to be with Envoy Virtual, but that died. Oh, yeah. Um, if you want a good Airbus one, Virtual Spirit. Really, really good. Um, they have their own checklist. They have an active community. Um, they have some tutorials, so on and so forth. Um, but as far as YouTube... A320neo... Pros... Come on, fool. Procedures. Um, you know, this guy right here, EasyJet Sim Pilot, really good. Uh, free SOP guide. So here you go. Free standard op. Hello. Um, free standard operating procedures. There it is. Um, startup. Microsoft Flight Sim, <laughs> right? Like I try to find ones that are from real pilots. This guy's a real 320 pilot, copy. There it is. 
is. Yeah, a virtual American. That's another great one. Um, Easy Jet Sim Pilot. Spirit. No, Virtual Spirit is phenomenal. Um, you know, don't don't think like oh because of virtual you know spirit versus virtual spirit like you know don't don't do that but no the virtual spirit airline is is phenomenal um it is we started our top of drop cool and the cool thing is with this one vampsis if you fly for if you make a vampsis account you could fly for all of these virtual airlines under the same account um so if you just want to fly for only Spirit, fly for Spirit. You want to fly for American, Ryanair, Easy. You know all these ones, perfect, right? Um, but yeah, no, Spirit is is a great airline. Uh, when you get a chance, really, you should fly to R Y Y. Go to the airport restaurant there. Uh, but it's a steakhouse price. It's called Elevation Chop House. Really? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Where? Let me look it up. K R Y Y. K R Y. Whoops. Y Y Airport. In Atlanta. Okay. Okay. Uh, I know for us, we go to L Z U. And we have an approved airport at L Z U. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna check it out. Spiritual Wangs. Uh, yeah, so if you have that, Vamsis, um, you know, check them out. Resort documents, I think. So there is the pilot manual, recommended liveries, so on and so forth. Uh, okay, but yeah, check them out. They're really good. Um, you know, American's really good. So the same guys who run this one run American, Spirit, and United. Um, so if you want to fly for those, you know, then there's no, it's this United. Sorry, this one, this one, this one, this one, um, and then they also run this one. The Piedmont one so you can fly for all of these um, and quite honestly the best way to learn the airplane is and it sounds stupid is literally fail at it for a while because you're gonna know exactly what not to do you're gonna know you know oh when I'm in this predicament you know the airplane likes to do this when I'm in this predicament you know I know to have this activated my LS push buttons or you know the destination data so on and so forth um like that's the best way to do it like is just get in it you know embrace the suck um watch some videos obviously um to point you in the right direction and then you're just gonna learn like you know like i said i'm not a type rated pilot in the 737 but i have plenty of sim experience for understanding like in the sim the 737 likes to do this like i can get out of a lot of predicaments and handle a lot of things that i'm not saying anybody else can't but you know where somebody might have a issue it's like oh this that and the third do that and then bam you're back to normal cookies oh dude i had to i had to take them down they were they were moldy <laughs> i took them down but i'm gonna put them back uh but you did say hope uh hope all is well in the world in the shack world man it's it's going it's going drew can't complain i don't know who would want to listen personally but all is well all is well hopefully the same for you and yours uh for pva i'm at frankfurt base pan am and the a310 really i never flew for them because i just never did nothing against them uh, i've always rooted for them you know every time i hear v1 say something about them, i'm like yeah they fly you know they do spirit and they do american which i have a good punt chunk of time for american but um my here this is this is where it gets kind of sickening um my bread and butter is the delta virtual uh where is that i don't like this music it puts me to sleep uh dashboard so i have 384 flights for 1602 hours um I am a chief pilot, and these are all the places I. Map's kind of screwed, but um, yeah, I have uber amounts of of flights for the Delta Virtual. If you like the the drink, they have nitro martini margaritas there. The drinks uh, steam as you drink because they are 
Really? They are made with dry ice. Well, if I ever, when I go to Atlanta, I'm definitely going to have to go, <laughs> go and play on a spend of the night. But, um, yeah, now nah, that sounds like a awesome time. Hopefully if we, if I do go there, you'll join me. Yeah. I uh, heard you need like reshade or something. Um, I use NVIDIA filters. Um, it's free. Southpaw, what's up, bro? Gang's all here now. Um, NVIDIA filters. If you turn on Microsoft, you press Alt and F3. Um, that's the NVIDIA filter. So with it off, it looks like that. Put it on. You know, and you can tinker with it as you please. So like, you go here, you can just create, you can go to color, right? And you can mess with it however you want. Uh, make the tint intensity. You just find what looks good on your screen, right? Uh, this one on my screen, I think looks as is. And then once again, there's YouTube videos for like presets. Oh, all right, goodbye. Yeah, I trust and believe, man. I like to drink. Uh, best recent airline I've flown on would have been the Big Yellow Bus. Best customers. Uh, service experience I've had yet, even with a diversion to Memphis before continuing to Nashville. If I started in Orlando, it would be great. Uh, I'll ask anything in the Discord. Yeah, no worries, man. Have a great night's sleep. Evelation Chop Ev House uh, Sky Bar has a wall of picture facing the field so you can watch planes. Nah, that's too cool. That's too cool. I would love it. I would love it. I'd have too much fun. Too much fun. Hopefully they got a hotel nearby. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. All right. Let's take last question. Uh, no, not yet. It's uh, in development. Very active development. They update it every two weeks or so. Uh, but I would wait a little bit for it. Wait a couple months because they're going to make uh, custom FMC and something else. Something to do with autopilot. I would wait on it. Watching in VR right now. What? You can watch YouTube in VR? That's crazy. That's crazy. How are you, gamer? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully your Friday night is well. Um, here's our approach, though. So we're coming in from here, the south. We're gonna wrap around. Um, it doesn't seem like it's crazy, like you know, crazy approach, pretty straightforward. Um, but we're almost 5,000 feet above sea level, so dense air, big airplane, not gonna have a lot of speed. Um, our, I'm willing to bet with whatever our, our um, approach speed is, the stall bar or the yellow bar or whatever it is. Um, won't be too far off so we'll just have to keep a pretty good eye on our speed uh, if we get slow we're gonna die and other than that the airport is between two mountains so cities i think is on this side there's the city of guatemala over here it's an old scenery so it doesn't really look that good but it's it's still a cool approach um so when we land yeah the city's over here um, mountain, mountain, so, actually, let's see. Yeah, so, city, city, mountain, mountain, and high terrain, so. We'll just have to keep an eye on it, um, because I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark. That as soon as we cut our power, we're just going to drop like a rock. Because um, of all the air. All the dense air that we are trying to bust through. It's going good. How about you? Uh, it's sick. It's like a big game cinema screen. That's crazy. I'm doing great, man. I really can't complain. Don't know who'd listen. Um, but now all is good. All is good. Just hanging out. Living my best life. About to go fly into Guatemala. And kind of want to make it about... Then maybe not that far because it, it'll be dark I, I want to land at about that time yeah there we go what um uh what vr headset do you have <laughs> oh i must not have the option for the window shades 
Alright, through standard. Um, the weather is one zero two one. Um, let's look at the TAF. Currently, there's few clouds at 1,600 feet. Um, the weather is, let's see, 180 at 4, 7,000 meters of visibility. What is that, 8 miles? Um, scattered at 1,400, temperature 21, 2.18. We can probably anticipate some fog, uh, and there's rain. Baby rain, mist. Uh, so, but if we were coming in in a little bit, um, there is a temporary that will have few clouds at 2,000, uh, becoming a few clouds at 1,600. Wind zero is zero. Rain scattered at 1,200. Eh, good enough. Oculus Quest two. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. All right, let's uh, pause the tunes, get the replay thing up, do that, and we'll get our lights on, because what, five, it's technically what, 12,000 feet, or almost 5,000 feet high, above sea level, I should say. Uh, cool. And then what we will also do is we'll take that, put it in here create us a 10 mile ring right there oh boy um i think there's a disc con somewhere or a vector maybe Oh, no, never mind. That's the missed approach. I was like, what the heck is this? That's the missed approach. Okay. Spooked me. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. So somewhere down there where we will be uh, landing. <laughs> Dang. That's gorgeous. And we'll tell them Sit down or fall down, the choice is yours. Oh, uh, what was it? The RMP Zulu. Just for a little quick reference there. So then we can just boop, pop over. Um, Bana, we can go to 8,000. So we'll make sure we put in 8,000 and then all the way down to our minimum of 5,240, which, oh boy, I didn't set. But good thing is we're almost there. 5,240. Now I wonder, out of curiosity, I wonder if they would do flaps five. Oh, that's, if they would do flaps forty, because essentially your ground speed is a lot faster up up at high altitude. You know, high altitude. 
So I wonder to help with the drag in landing if they would do flaps 40 over 30. I don't know. Oh man, did it again. Because that kind of would not be a bad option if we needed it either. So our airport is over uh, there somewhere. <laughs> Getting the tail end of the stream tonight? Hey, that's okay. You caught some of it. How are you, bro? Salute to you. Happy Friday. We made it through another week, right? Hopefully all is well. All is well. start slowing down to 190 because this is our technically our approach and it's gonna come quick and we're at high uh, we're gonna pull a Kelly saw today there we go pull out them boards it's all gonna come quick You're well good. Good, good, good. Did you uh, get any flying recently in? Oh, <laughs> there's there's the answer. Going to rain tomorrow and Sunday, so no flying for you. It's looking the same way. My flight tonight got canceled. More than likely, my flight tomorrow is going to get canceled. Um, so I'll try again on Sunday. But my flight tomorrow is at uh, 2, 2 to 4, 2 to 4, something, yeah, something like that, it's in the day, so if there's a cool VATSIM event, I might try to do it, try to stream it, if not, um, then I'm going to go watch some TV, like tonight, I have a date with the warden, uh, I think, unless she bailed on me, but we are going to watch Station 19, uh, I'll take a screen, yeah, do it, man, do it, I'd love to see it, um, Love to see uh, what VR because I, ha I I have a VR, um, but it's it, it's a mm, I think it's a H reverb two one something I don't know uh, flap five please but even with that it was it's not really that great per se um, five thousand three hundred is what we can go down to. Cool. Should have uh, peak text. Then all of your flying would have been done by night. Shoot. Yeah, it would have. <laughs> yeah, it would have. There's actually, they just opened up a Myrtle Beach in Galveston, Texas. Um, like, just did. So I sh could have. But I was like, I don't think I can move my family that that far away. One ninety seven, one ninety seven. Oh, right on the nose. Look at that. We'll start really slowing down. One forty one. Let's do that. Closing the ring. And then into the valley of death we go. Tomorrow there's a VATSIM event around Dallas with GA airports, it seems. Really? Okay. Could fly a BizJet. <sighs> eee. If I fly a BizJet, that might be my one time that they're like, look, bro, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, we're going to have to ask you to get kicked off of VATSIM for the evening. <laughs> um, but no, I'll take a look at it. I'll definitely take a look at that. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, we're through 170 and we're slowing down a lot faster than I thought. Let's just do 170 for now. Oh, sugar. Replay. Bob, sag it. I wanted to record this turn. So yeah, somewhere out here is a runway. Um, we might find it. Lingers only... Only to, yeah, sometimes, but hell, if you're sometimes dead, <laughs> you only can be dead once, and that might be my, uh, that might be my cue. 
All right, so we're th about 3,000 feet right about now. Cool. That's what I like. And what I could potentially look for a VOR. There is not one. Not one at all. Thank you. Um, I was hoping there's some kind of distance something. There's not. But. Let's go gear down. 15, 150. Take the Honda Jet. I'm going to have to brush up on that Honda Jet. Oh boy, am I going to have to brush up on that Honda Jet. We're through 2000. Cool. I have five mile final. Lovely. I haven't touched that thing since the last time I've streamed it on YouTube. 25, 30. And. There we go. So now we can put 13,000 as our miss as our go around if I remember glazing at it right. Uh, 8500 I don't know where I got 13,000. 8500 1000. <laughs> Oh, got it. My throttles, my plane, landing gears, down three green flaps, 30 30 green, spoilers are armed, and go around now to set. Landing checklist is complete. Stable. Continue. I don't know which way to turn. I don't know which way to turn. Uh, charts, charts, charts. To the right. Okay. Brise. Oh. He said, hold. Oh man, let's see. Uh, I get no group of every time. That's how that that was, that made me feel. Oof. <laughs> Come on, turn, man. Like I don't need that much force to get off the runway. Negative 22. I should have backtracked, yeah. I should have just bust a 180 out here. Actually, fun, funny thing for you. Um, on my last flight, real world, um, tower at Myrtle Beach was like, hey, you just want to make a 180 on the runway here and uh, get off on Bravo 2? Sure. 
not very many times I just get to bust a 180 in the middle of the runway at a Charlie Airport. I'm down for the get down. So yeah, that was fun. But this approach was pretty gnarly. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Oh shoot, we're gonna go in the grass. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, what uh, parking gate should we take? Let's take uh, let's take eight. Eight seems cool. Oh dear. Um, you got an eight around here? No. How about you? You got an eight? No. So parking must be it. I know you got an eight. Yep. Actually, they have walk-in gates. Let's do four. Yeah, let's make them walk. Awesome. But yeah, here is, uh, so the airport at night, it, you know, the city, you could tell it's old, like, you could just tell it's kind of old, uh, scenery, but it's not, you know, it's not bad for what it is. You know, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Was like right there or so? Yeah. on the grass oh man i appreciate you drew 25 months man what a ride it has been drew what a ride it has been drew you going to expo this year it's in vegas bro come on you know you want to come on Come on, come to Vegas. Yes. Uh, four is right over here. There it is. Do that. And we'll shut down number one. This guy's going to give us the Guatemalan two-step when we're done here. Ready? Oh yeah, yep, you're dancing. Yep. And tap shoes on, hot shot. I got the music playing for you, sweet. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> I turned it back on. Hold on. There you go. Dance, monkey. Yep, come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, Master Caution Electrics, um, and it very well could have been because I had more than one bleed on, so I had like, uh, what is it, or no, I didn't have one bleed, more than one, I know this comes on with something with a bleed, I think it's when this is on and the engines are on, or maybe the other way around if they're not on, but that one was specifically electric, and what do we got over here? Uh, we got overhead air conditioning and hydraulics, so probably because of that, and
that, that, that. Yeah, I think. I think. Yeah, we want a damn refund, dude. Gypped us. Absolutely gypped us. And they said this was walking. There's a whole gate right here. Well, I guess it's broken. Well, if that was the case, I'd have parked over by my friends. Refund, big time. But uh, let's see what they gave us. Review. 189? <laughs> what? A 189? Well, oh, I wasn't done. 189. Well, damn. Little long, but you know what? Pretty good on the center line. A bounce. Okay. Okay. Well, hell. Um, we'll get the beacon light on because it's proper, right? It's... Bam. There. Light up the copa on the tail. So we'll let him get off for a minute. And then uh, we'll uh, check out the replay and we'll uh, get out of here. There. There. But yeah, that was fun. That was, that was a cool approach. Super cool. Let's take a look at... I know... Ooh, what the CRQ said there was, uh, yeah, this one. Uh, that. Dallas, so A at Fort Worth Alliance, I think that one is. Okay. Interesting. But what is often overlooked is a nearby busy cluster of satellite airports, and we're about that. That, yeah, okay. We'll see. Maybe it'll be cool just to fly through the airspace or something. Or, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll be uh, not flying at all and watching TV on the couch. Dang, there's no... They fly a 7-6 in here? Okay. And just like that, I've seen enough of you guys getting off the airplane. Let's watch the replay, shall we? Uh, well, let me, I, nope, DX12 bug, I was going to say, let me get a screenshot, not anymore, and there, and then we'll go back about 30 minutes for a good replay to start, get our lights on. Cool. Flaps can come out. Spoilers can get armed. Airplane noises can get turned down. And just like that, we are set, checked, double checked. Look at how stable it was. My stable descent. Uh, replay. Pause, and we'll go a little bit to about there. Soccer field. Awesome. Oh, you know what song I found on uh, YouTube? I finally found uh, Captain Canada's outro song. Did you know that? I've been trying to find that song for years. Not that I want to, like, steal it or steal it because it's free but uh i finally found it. i was like damn that's just a good tune um and i finally found it so i have to swagger jack him one day because it's just it's such a good tune i listen to it in my car where like there's good speakers and i'm over here like bobbing my head at the red lights people are like what the hell is this loser doing he's probably a swifty which i am because <laughs> of my daughter No, that's not a 189. They can they can absolutely kick rocks with an open-toed shoe. That was not a 189. Hell, that might not even been a 19. You saw us what that was? My lord, my lord. 189. Oof. 189? Are you kidding me? Like, what? 
a 189. They want Volanto wanted to try to give me a 189. Smoke crack, I tell you. Yeah, nah. Smoke and crack. Center line could have been a little better. But let me tell you, old girl is on that. Whew. She's going to have to put the pipe down, Miss Volanta. Let me tell you. Uh, cool. Let's watch it kind of like as if we were a resident or a citizen in these buildings. I think that would be kind of cool. Cessna? Interesting. I got the tower model in here? Probably not. No. I was about to say, damn, I can't even see the airplane. There it is. from our rooftop penthouse here in Guatemala City. Yep, that is where I would be, even if I wasn't supposed to. Awesome. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, truly appreciate, you know, this was a scheduled stream, then a not scheduled stream, because I had a flight, then another scheduled stream about 30 minutes before I even started streaming. So, you know, I really appreciate you guys, you know, making time to come kick it with me uh, through all the sporadic, you know, streams, not streams, schedules, not scheduled. So I, I truly just want to say thank you. Um, and especially to the ones who, you know, still come by and you pay for a membership. Like that's super cool that you guys uh, do that. I appreciate it. Damn it. I messed that one up because of this view. Hold on. But she was soft. Let me tell you. Um, so yeah, truly thank you. And everybody else, you know, just, just as big of a thank you for just kicking it with me. Like that, it means a ton um, that we get to hang out, laugh, and all that good stuff. Good Lord, that was good. Oof, that was nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to definitely try. I uh, hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs> if the weather's, yeah, I hope it is. You know, I, I definitely hope that we get to hang out, even if the weather's crappy, um, because I have a two o'clock flight block. Um, so as long as, you know, the house doesn't catch on fire or Warden doesn't beat me like a damn drum, um, we should be live anyway. Um, you know, I think that there's a good chance. I don't know if we'll fly in that event. I, I'm really not in the GA mood right now. Like for me, the GA stuff comes in moods. Um, unless it's like our weekly little thing then I'm just excited. Uh, but that sim GA, that's, that's, that's a headache sometimes. Um, so I'm not sure where we'll fly. Um, maybe we'll do that one that we were supposed to do, like the Barcelona to France. Maybe we'll do something in the States. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun hanging out. Um, oh, do you guys want to check out the, uh, M-Rock landing? I recorded that one. I said, you know, we could go back and check it out. while we're here while I got you guys do you want to go check that one out real quick I could just load it up it takes all but a second um, if you want to do that we'll do that if not we'll call it a night and watch it some other time there. but I will save this one cool saving So yeah, you let me know um, if you want to see that one. And I will uh, I will 100% load that one. Load it up? All right, let's load her up. Replay. Go break the world real quick. And let the world load in right quick. Oh, we'll have to fix that. Uh, general options. There we go. 
Where's the runway? Right there. Uh, can we talk you into another leg? I don't know about that. What time is it? 11.42? Ooh. Probably not tonight. Only, only because. The only reason I have, and it's a valid one, is I promised the warden we would watch our weekly show. Because last night it was out, and I fell asleep. So if I, if I say no, if I say no to her again, that could be the end of Shaq. Truthfully. Otherwise, just asking would have got me another, I would have done another leg. But that, I just saw this, this thing in my head, a coffin. Like, coffin just flashed right before my eyes. Oh, a little balloon there. Not bad. Still not a bad landing. In the zone. Not a bad landing. That was cool. But yeah, if if I didn't have if I didn't make that promise, she she's no, I I hear her actually. I uh I just heard her shut the bathroom door. So that's probably like the sign like wham, I'm waiting. Or she's probably in there sharpening a dagger like So when I go to sleep, it's going to like poke me in the thigh or something, or like right in the hamstring, sever me right at the hamstring. That one wasn't bad, but so remember that first one, right? The one we just had which one is better? Uh, we'll end on this. This was what we'll truly end on. Uh, so let's go to the right here. Because remember that Doha landing, right? Which one was better? So Because these keep getting better and better. Like, we keep outdoing ourselves. Like, the first one we ever had that was like, oh my god, this is like just amazing was Innsbruck in the 600 or 7. They're all 737 landings. Um... The Innsbruck landing, you can go back on YouTube and check it out. Um, then we had this one, and then we just had the Guatemala. So which one do you think has, so far, of 2024, taken the cake? Because they've all happened in 2024, and they keep getting harder and harder to beat. Like, Like, I don't know, man. That one looked pretty juicy, if you ask me. Uh, I think we got uh, one other view of it. But, yeah. We'll have to make a compilation. Anybody here good at video editing? Want to help me out? Please? Like, imagine making a compilation of all these... These sweet uber duber greasers. Because, yeah, that would be cool. If we did that, like come the end of the year tonight's 22 you think so i don't know like because they're both i don't know but yeah they're both good i think yeah i think tonight was i don't know man i don't know because there was no there was no flow no nothing on it. like it just rolled it right on i don't know i don't know but um yeah that was uh that was a greaser and a half these all were shit uh, I think, no, I definitely don't have a Innsbruck one. Nah, I do, I do, yes. All right, I swear to goodness, we're leaving after this one, I swear. Uh, here's Innsbruck. So, these are the three best of 2024 so far. Uh, and they've, they've all come at night, roughly. Maybe it's something about night flying. Night flying is better than day flying. You heard it first here. That truck has a dent in it. Anyways. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'll leave you guys with that one. I hope you guys have a great, 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 great rest of your Friday. Uh, even better Saturday. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Um, should be able to. But stay safe. Stay happy, stay healthy. Most importantly, y'all know the deal. Stay dangerous. I will catch you on the next one. See ya!